right, and welcome here to the Nook Podcast, the inaugural Nook, Nook Podcast, as I am Chris Labosco, and that's not going to be the first time we mess up anything. Uh, and I have Nick Labosco, my brother, to my left. Hey, guys. And then I've got to my right, Vince Trombetta. Hello. And a special guest joining us here on the initial one is going to be my brother, Sam Labosco. Yeah, there's there's three of us. How are you all doing? And, uh, well, doing great, of course, is this is the Nook Podcast, and we are uh, started off as the Nook on YouTube, which was yeah. uh, something that we did where well, we do, we still do it sometimes, where we play different games, and uh, it's just going to continue with the podcast where instead of just playing games, we're going to discuss games and things like that, and... Uh, Nick, you want to talk about how the Nook sort of came about because it was really you and Vince who sort of originated it. Well, it wasn't even me that originated it. was Vince that started it. God, what, what, freshman year kind of? Oh, no, I think it was a little bit later than that. But anyway, Vince used to live down the street, and me and Vince started hanging out a lot before I went off to college. And uh, I know he had his own gaming station. We are just like, hey, why don't we make our own video game like commentary and put it on? And a lot of it was challenges between me and Vince, I think, is how it started. And then... It was just us playing games. I mean, it kind of toned down a bit since then, but I know it started with Vince making video games. I joined in with him, and we'd have Chris in every once in a while. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the beginning of it. <laughs> yeah, it all it all actually started on my uh, my just YouTube channel that I was making vlogs on. Uh, about, that's right. Probably about three four years ago now, and uh, we were just. You know, we we both me and Nick were doing vlogs, and you know, we were just kind of we weren't trying to copying people but we were definitely doing what was kind of popular in youtube at the time different yeah. challenges and like i think so our biggest hit is the uh comic-con what 2011 vlog yeah that we have that was oh god it was so long yeah ago. it was a little bit of i still had braces <laughs> yeah, yeah we have so we have one video that got like i don't know it was like a thousand views and to us you know no no name youtube people the thousand views for us is like crazy so but yeah, other than that, I mean, it, it. So we, you know, we just like video games, and I think one day it became us doing challenges on video games. Yeah, I mean, then, I know we also did in like the vlog the uh, like baby food challenge, other stuff like that, and then I think our first debut for a video game was Worms. I want to say. Yeah. That might have been yeah. the first one. I I wasn't there. For, I don't think I was there for the original, but I was there one of the times that you guys played. I think worms. the first one you were there with us was either Worms or Castle Crashers. I want to say. I was there for Castle Crashers too, which Mike Lynn was another one who I'm sure will be on here in yeah, some we'll time in the future on the Nook podcast. But again, we're a new podcast. We're just starting out. Gaming's going to be the way we're going to go. And, uh, no, not. I mean, we're not. We'll not do anything, yeah. but that, that's what we're centered around yeah, for this right. well, podcast. It, it's anyway. going to be centered. We're, let's we're face nerds. it, we're nerds. So, <laughs> and, and gaming's a big part of all of our that's, lives. Uh, so, fuck you, so Sam. Smug ass <laughs> face. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, that's how it goes. Wait, Whatever. we're allowed to swear in this, right? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're not. We're not. Uh, <laughs> not a national. Oh radio. shit! Oh, this sorry. Uh, rated PG. Get the your fucking parents out. <laughs> just yeah, don't don't let them hear you. But yeah, uh, it, it, just don't let your, you mean don't your, let you mean don't let them hear us. Get, just, yeah. get your parents' permission to log on to uh, Nickelodeon.com. <laughs> <laughs> if Dude, you don't, oh damn, you're I badass. I feel like I feel like today's PG thirteen is like our rated X. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Wait, X? No, no, no. I don't think that. I mean, come on. It's there's, been pushed there's kids a in middle. Bit. There's kids in middle school already having sex nowadays. Yeah, so it's definitely PG thirteen. Has has been very uh, demeaned That's what I'm in today's day and age. PG thirteen right. has changed. Let's let, do, let's put it that way. Do we want to go like around and like introduce ourselves? Let's start with Vince since he was the originator of the Nook, though. Um yeah, I mean I don't want to go really deep in my life to have just, people just, just stalk really quick, me just just <laughs> brief. Who you are? I don't know shit like that. No, we want I, uh, we want Facebook URLs and all your social media. Uh, we do want your. What, Twitter. What's your Twitter handle? Oh, <laughs> yeah, handle. so yeah, you can actually go on Twitter and find. You can actually. I'll just use the main one here because I actually have a Twitter for the gaming nook, and it's just the gaming nook. So so so, so it, that'll be another thing. We'll we'll put that on the the Twitter. Uh, on all of ours, obviously, but obviously on there I too. Do. I barely use Twitter. <laughs> well, then maybe you're gonna have to start. <laughs> oh fuck. Um, other than that, too, uh, the original YouTube channel that started. If you want to watch those videos, is you can just search Darth Ravenclaw <laughs> on YouTube and you'll find it. Yeah, it's pretty easy uh, to find that. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, I uh, graduated college back in oh, 2014. So last. 
<laughs> oh, about a year from this date, actually. Not this exact date, but a year from January uh, in computer science. So yeah, I'm huge into gaming and, you know, all things technology. It's kind of been a part of my life, and that's, you know, what led me to doing things like this. I, you know, I used to be a really, really shy kid when I was younger, but now that I got, you know, to a more grown-up age, I kind of broke out of my shell, so, you know, I could do things like this and express myself, which is pretty cool, but that's kind of just a overview there. We can go on to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> All, right, All right, Nick, how about you, since right. you were uh, one of the originators, too? Yeah, um, yeah like I said, uh, me and Vince, we really didn't start hanging out till like, my freshman year when I started playing lacrosse. I mean, I knew him a little bit in eighth grade through Chris, because Chris and Mario, Vince's, uh, whatever, uh, enough about that. Anyway, I met Vince through Chris. And uh, so I started hanging out with him when I started playing lacrosse, and um, I remember just hanging out at his house all the time over the summer throughout the school year. And um, anyway, recently now, um, I'm a sophomore at Ohio University, going to be going into my second semester, my sophomore year, obviously, because it's going to be the spring semester. But uh, I, um, gosh, I don't know, I'm 19, almost 20. Oh, got my pilot's license. Oh. What's, what, what's your sign? I'm a Pisces. Oh, that's good. My sign this month says I'm going to be very emotional. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I go to Ohio University, Athens, Ohio. Um, I'm actually, this is probably going to be the only one for a while that you hear me live with Chris and them. Other than that, you're going to hear me through Skype or something yeah. else like that because I'm going to be going back this weekend, actually. So, yeah, this will be the only time you actually hear me live here until summer really or, or maybe spring break or something, something even like whatever that is for you <laughs> <laughs> Vince is so sad I'm it's okay Vince it's all right Vince and um, Chris go ahead I, 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 yeah I'll go with myself I'm 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 Chris Labosco I'm 24 years old I I uh I I do everything I don't know basically Chris is the one running this bitch because he does like all this radio yeah, yeah. broadcasting I do, shit I, I do sports <laughs> broadcasting mainly it, he's it like is... yeah we'll, we'll get music we'll fade in and out music I'm like what do you mean fade in music you don't just click pause <laughs> yeah yeah so so I have a a bit of a broadcasting background since I do sports broadcasting I do a lot of play by play stuff I've uh I've done different semi-pro teams and college teams currently doing Northwestern I also am going to be a varsity head coach this year for lacrosse Ooh. go Bartlett High School um I just you know gaming has been a huge part of my life too just to, as much as sports is and you know competitiveness just runs in our family so it, it, it kind of makes very, very yeah true. understatement right exactly we're, we're too competitive sometimes yeah. but it, it, it's just something that I've always done I mean I've been playing video games since I was you know very young and I've known Vince since forever and obviously i've known sam and nick they're my two younger brothers but I, i've known vince since like grade school or something i've known him and uh his brothers for for a very long time and um you know we, probably we've just always on. <laughs> always oh yeah I, i'm sure we'll get jeff trombetta who is the king of n64 oh, on fuck, it he kicked yeah. our acid bomber man like a few days ago <laughs> yeah he did we should definitely get him on. yeah we'll, we'll, we'll get him on here maybe when we do uh, We'll definitely have to talk some N64 because everybody still loves N64. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, fuck Sam. No, okay, go ahead, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh, I'm the middle brother of these two. Um, I'm an audio engineer and music producer. I'm currently in school. I'm 21 years old. Same same story as Nick with Vince. Met him through my older brother who was friends with his older brother. And I can honestly say my, my fondest memory of Vince would have to be I remember watching him at the talent show at Horizon Elementary School. Wait, what? When he was doing the break dancing and the screamo. And Dude, it, it what? It was so <laughs> fucking awesome. Wait, Horizon had a talent show? Yeah. Yeah. That was good stuff. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> oh, man. I just remember Vince and, like, his group just going around doing flips onto the mats and shit and breakdancing and, like... We, uh, where the uh, fuck was I? I don't know. We absolutely <laughs> what had, the fuck did we get ice cream? I'll tell you right now, we absolutely had no idea what... Like, one of my You guys were on drugs. <laughs> one of my friends was decent at breakdancing. Damn I, angsty kids. <laughs> I can't sing for... Crap! I, I I like to think I can sing. It was like that was Family terrible. Guy episode where uh, like Lois and Peter get high and they're just screaming in the microphone the entire yeah, right. time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this was sixth grade. I don't think they 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 knew about. Yeah, I mean they might have known about it, but they weren't doing that stuff no. yet. Smoking crank. I don't know. Uh, 
Yeah, no, uh, I, that's funny that I, you know, obviously I wasn't really there for, for you guys in elementary. We all went to the same elementary school, something to be pointed out. So we and middle school and schools, high school. Yeah. yeah, we went to all the same. <laughs> Except schools. for one of these motherfuckers is not like the other and graduated <laughs> from an online school because he didn't. Bastard. That's okay. Yeah. It's, it, it, Missed out on your chance to play lacrosse with me. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, right? I would have played with you too, wouldn't I? No. No, no. no you, I, I played gone. senior year. Yeah. Anyway, that was a fun year with you two coaching. Yeah, it was fun. It was, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll probably talk a lot about lacrosse. Yeah, I mean, the times we definitely. That we, we are that's another here. thing. We're we're all like huge in the sports too. Yeah. So we're yeah. Gonna, we're gonna throw a bunch of I'm throwing this down right now. Year from now, Ninja Warrior, see me there. <laughs> and, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> That's, another, that's a whole other topic <laughs> we could get into. Even if it's not Ninja, even if no Ninja Warrior, amazing race. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We're gonna go on there when next year's twenty one. It's just, it's gotta happen. It's going it's to. The damn age. I, 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 every, every year I count down the years. Um, but yeah, we we didn't really talk about it. First gaming experience for you guys. I mean, I kind of said a little bit, but I didn't say a whole lot. So um, we'll start with Nick this time. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> my first true gaming experience was these t- Sam and Chris, or who I'm pointing at, you can't see me, but uh. I remember those two had Game Boys way before me, like, so much before me, I would just always, like, be over their shoulder, like, either leaning on their back, watching, and, like, if it was dark, we had a flashlight, and I was holding the flashlight over the screen or something, just so we could see. Then eventually we got the little lights that plugged into the oh, side yeah, of the Game yeah. Boy, and then Nikki didn't have to hold the flashlight well, yeah, anymore, we could just sit there. Anyway, point is, these two, like, I was, I don't know, three, four, maybe five, and these two had Game Boys before me, and I think Chris was playing either Pokemon Red, and I think... Did you have blue? Yeah, yeah. Sam had blue. Sam had blue, had blue, and I didn't have anything, so I'd watch them play. And then my first Game Boy I ever got, it was actually in Canada. It was At me and antique, my mom. We went the to the antique, antique store. store. Yep, we went I into town as we go to Canada every year, and my mom got me a small green Game Boy Pocket with um, I remember that. Super Mario Land, the original, and I still have that game, and I still play it on my, uh, what the hell is it, S- Game Boy yes. SD or DS, whatever. No, SD. That's it's it. It's still fucking difficult, too. And, and just and in case anyone's wondering <laughs> why we go to Canada every year, our family owns our own property and island up there. So we vacation there every summer, and every year we go up there. And it was a tradition for my little brother and my mom to always go to the antique store in town. So that's why he was uh, inside the antique store that year. Yeah. But, um,. Yeah, so that was my first true gaming experience was, well, actually not even me playing, but watching these two play on their Game Boy, then finally me getting one. I just remember as soon as I got it, I just played it nonstop. As soon as the batteries died, I was running around the cabin trying to find batteries. And then other than that, my first gaming experience it was... It was, was the Pocket, right? It was green. Yeah, green Game Boy Pocket. I remember that. Yeah, and then other than that, it would be playing... What was it? Final Fantasy Seven. Nine. Nine. The one that you and I played? Yeah, yeah I, w- I would play... I don't even... I wouldn't even play... Tell Vivi what to do. Yeah, because you couldn't. Because <laughs> in Final Fantasy IX, you could um, you could actually play with more than one controller. Like you could have somebody control because you always had four party members. So you could you could have another uh, controller, and um, you could have another controller, and that per you could have somebody else play as one of the other people. Which you know was fun, especially because I, you know, I was a huge Final Fantasy fan, and you know Nick always was sitting there playing, you know, watching me play, and I was like, "Oh, you can play with me on this one," because it, because it even said, you know, because on the box it, it would tell you how many players. I was Only like, thing I will say about that experience was you were the most stressful motherfucker to play with because like I had to do it in a split second. I had to like choose what like, he'd always tell me what to do anyway. He'd be like, "Hit A, go down three times. Hit X again. Blah blah blah. Do this. No, you did the wrong move. You're going too slow." And he'd get like. Mad mad at me and I'd like start crying and freak out because I'm a child I'm like I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> well, well it was for, just uh <laughs> well for those of you who have played the, the, those early final fantasies I mean it was an active time battle so w- the way that it worked is you had the bar the meter that would fill up and then as soon as the meter filled you would have to pick what you were doing but the meters never stopped so if you didn't go quick enough I didn't know that the boss would attack <laughs> And you, you, you'd get screwed over or something, especially boss battles. Now, as I got older, I realized that you could change it to wait, but I don't know if you could in nine. Some of them you couldn't change it, but some of them you could change it where when you're in the menus, it stops the, yeah, the so meters. You, you could have saved your like five-year-old brother from ever wanting to play that game again. <laughs> 
No. But uh, you still wanted to play it though. Oh yeah, and after I'd go cry for a half an hour, then come back. But <laughs> usually than, be apologizing too. Other than that, yeah, I think that'd be my first game experience. Dad would other start than yelling uh, at you too. Oh yeah. Hey, that was nothing new. Yeah. But, but uh, um, that yeah. kind of leads into to mine a little bit too. Is um, my I guess my, my favorite early gaming experiences was playing you know Final Fantasy eight and nine and ten and seven. But my first experience goes back to way before that, Nintendo, playing with my father. And I was like three years old, and I was doing better than him at Mario. And, you know, I'm, I'm, a, t- I'm a child who can barely even walk, but I'm beating him with the video games. So that, that's like my earliest gaming experience that I remember. And, and then after that, playing the different games on Sega and stuff. But, but, but the first... Mario yeah. and, and Super and it was Super Mario 3 too. It wasn't this it wasn't the first one. It was the third one was my favorite one too. What about you Vince? Uh I would have to say uh I started playing video games thanks to my oldest brother Jeff. He uh at I mean as as far as I can even remember I couldn't even tell you what age I was, but let me just tell you a little background about my oldest brother Jeff. Oh he <laughs> held a record for like 15 years straight and th- he was like seven years old and he held the record for i think it was either super like you know uh, uh, you know nes super mario the first one or the second one he held the record for the fastest run through like ever on the game that's he did nuts. it in like i don't know it was like 15 minutes for with all the flutes wow. and everything so he he did that so i would always you know sit there and you know uh, for the longest time i could just remember him playing our nes my first true actual experience playing with him was probably not till we got a Sega Genesis, and I remember the first games that like the first games I played weren't even like actual like game games. Like I remember we po- used to play a Monopoly and Family Feud on the Genesis together. So those were my first like true gaming experiences, and then I I just remember for, for some reason just the one game I would play all the time when I was younger, and I probably didn't even know what I was doing half the time but it was caesar's palace so you know you can you pretty much you know you walk <laughs> around the casino and you go up to different yeah. tables and you play and i just remember you know you'd start off with like i don't know five hundred dollars and two you know two minutes for me i'd be done leaving the casino because after you ran out of money the game was over but uh so i grew up playing you know the sega genesis uh, sonic was like my first real game i've played and then just, and then I went back backwards. I started with the Genesis, and then I played our NES, and that's kind of you know I grew up in the good time of all the gaming in the '90s. So it, that was some really good gaming too. And uh, I mean that's where we all started was in that '90s time. We're all in that age range, and I, I don't know what they consider the golden age of gaming, but that was that was sort of that like was prime. That I wouldn't say it was prime. I would say it's when sort of gaming sort of really exploded, though, where it became sort of this medium that wasn't just sort of a, a joke. Yeah, I mean, there's so much unexplored that there's yeah. just endless there was so, possibilities. Exactly. The possibilities, they're still and endless there's today. Still, yeah, exactly. And, and Sam, how about you for your first gaming experience? Well, that you remember at least. I'd have to say mine would be around around the PlayStation 1 time with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. I remember sitting up playing those games all the damn time. What was that game where you like the spy lizard, like the gecko guy? Oh, that's Spyro. The, uh, the purple no, no, no. one? Da- uh, Dax, was it? Was it was Dax it or Dax? I don't know, but maybe it was Dax. It was somewhere like you're a gecko and you were in like a tuxedo and you like try and climb the walls. It's oh, the I know what you're ever. talking yeah, about. It was, it was I, Dax. We would run it all we, the time. Exactly. Oh, my God, Blockbuster. Bo- wow. that, that's old. <laughs> But yes, Gax I, I would, Enter the Gecko. I, I would have to say it was around that time, Crash Bandicoot. That was one of my favorite games ever growing up. And then later on, as the PS2 came out, my favorite game to this day still of all times is Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. And I'm waiting for the third one to finally fucking come out next year. And if it doesn't come out next year, I'm going <laughs> to sue Square Onyx and fucking well, punch him in the dick. It's, it's no, Square it, Enix. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The, goof, the, vo- the goof, the goof, the goof voice, the voice of Goofy says it's supposed to come out this year for sure. Yes. So that was just announced. Wait, wait, in Japan? No, I'm kidding. But, uh, I, don't know, I don't know. But I recently bought the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 remix, which I've beaten all three already. Wow. Which didn't take me long. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, and... 
you know, I and I can honestly admit and open up and say that, you know, out of the other three that I'm here sitting with, I am not the biggest gamer. I don't play the video games as Sam much as Sam doesn't know what computer gaming is. Not at all. Sam's I've never, computer I've... gaming experience was RuneScape. That was probably <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, that, that and a little bit of solitaire and uh, some uh, Minesweep. The pinball. The pinball. pinball. Uh, Z and, like, what was that? Yeah, Z and, like, com com or something? Computer, oh, no. gaming, computer gaming is harder to me than binary coding. <laughs> that I can say. Which you have no clue about either. Actually, I do. I have to know a well, lot of binary <laughs> coding with, for audio engineering. Really? And like yeah, I didn't pretty, know that. Yeah, it's pretty. I didn't know that. Yeah. But going on to that, though, about the PC gaming, first PC gaming experience, Nick. Okay, I was going to say, because you talking about playing games with Dad, that reminded me. First PC gaming, of course, was Oregon Trail. I remember all of us. I never played it. it was, God, that... I was, I was almost always watching people play it, and I think this time it was either you controlling it or Dad. But they would play it. One of you two would be controlling it. And it was always all Dad us. controlling. I would just be sitting there watching, too. And what would he always say? Pickles will save your life one day. There you go. Pickles will save your life. Because if you had pickles, you wouldn't get scurvy, and no one would die, hopefully. <laughs> and I just I remember like always like going down the raft. Every single time we'd go down the river and you'd always hit something, I was always the first one to die. <laughs> At least that's what I remember. That or I'd like break my leg, get dysentery, who knows. And but, then die, and then you would cry. Yeah, and then I'd go and leave because I'm not playing anymore. But the, like, but, great. <laughs> and I, you know, we all cried if somebody died because we yeah. thought that it was like they really died for us for some reason. And it was That no. also might have been one of my first gaming memories that I remember because I think it was before I even had a Game Boy. Yeah, that was way that, before and that. And I also do sometimes remember playing, I think it was Sega Genesis or something, uh, Sonic and Tails. Uh, Sonic and Tails. I remember Tales, playing that. And, and probably the McDonald's game, too. Yeah, actually. Where he yeah. played as Ronald McDonald. Yeah. God, that was that was terrifying. a fun. That was a crazy. That was a, that was a weird game. That was a yeah. good game though. That's like it was the Ronald so McDonald, uh, the the like little movie shorts they'd make. Those things were terrifying too. That you, you know what? Never those were seen different those? though. Jeez, look those up. They're terrifying. Oh, I'm sure YouTube has some. Oh of those yeah, but that was <laughs> like that was more towards almost 2000 when that. Oh was. yeah, that was a bit later on. I don't know. And, and, like, and oh. Ronald McDonald had like spiky hair or something too, and was like all was like, modern and whatever. It looked like almost uh, Rugrats, but it was like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I I remember those too. Gosh, I they were so. I don't know. It was it was so weird to see them because it's like I don't really care about Ronald McDonald. I just like the food. <laughs> yeah, but uh, just give me my Happy Meal. Yeah, but yeah, definitely Oregon Trail watching dad play it or control it going down the river dying that's definitely my first and he had like experience. this ridiculously high score too like his his score was astronomical because my father when he played he didn't he wasn't the you know to, to show where we get our competitiveness from he didn't pick because you could be like a rich banker or something so you had a ton of money to spend on mm -hmm. stuff and you could have yourself be like a veteran of of the trails and all this nope Dad was a teacher, which was the, the least paid one. He was the greenhorn, which means he had no experience yeah. at all whatsoever. And he just, that's how he played. He, you know, no no gimmies as hard as it can possibly be. And he would I've just do it where everybody lived and everything it was ridiculous. I've, I've, I've <laughs> never seen anyone actually beat and get through that game more times than we dad ever did. All the time. I never, I, I think I've beat, I think I got through the entire Oregon Trail and had, like, enough people live to the point where it didn't, like, tell you you failed? Well, you don't fail. If you get through even with one person, you won. Yeah. But See, I don't think don't I, a high score. See, I don't think I, don't, I don't think I don't think I ever – I think I might have gotten through with, like, one person living once, but never have I, like, gotten through with more than one, ever. That's, uh, you know, that's sometimes how it goes. That's the Oregon yeah. Trail oh, for it you. it definitely is. And it was Oregon Trail 2, by the way. It wasn't Oregon Trail 1. Yeah, I don't it was remember the second which one. It was. one. I, I, it was in color. It was, it was not it wasn't, like the it old. It wasn't the green screen. It wasn't the, yeah, it wasn't like the old. Well, it wasn't even a green screen. The, well, it, it was just the, I mean. it, actually like when you would travel, it would show you the map where like the first one, it was kind of like you saw like the 8-bit sort of version of it. And you saw the oxen or whatever carrying your, your thing. No, it, it was the, uh, yeah. the second one, which it, still, again, it, that, that was, that's probably. That's not one of my first computer gaming experience. The one that I like, where I was like really into it, was probably playing Counter Strike, way yeah. back when, and um, uh, also StarCraft. Those were like my really like me playing by myself. Like those were like some yeah. of the first games playing, I really um, remembered. Yeah, that was that game where you had like the little like minions and you like dig out tunnels. Oh, in Dungeon, the Dungeon Keeper. There you go. Dungeon Keeper was another one too. too. Yeah, those were like my three like. 
like big games that really got me into like computer gaming. I I, I just thought of something. Sorry, you, you all looked at me. I do have a gaming experience on the computer. The what pinball? We said Diablo that two. <laughs> really? Oh God. <laughs> Diablo two with my with Chris. I remember I used to sit next to him and watch him play it. And I was either like and the barbarian. You were the, the barbarian or the fucking big dude. No, that was, that the, was the barbarian. barbarian. Was it? All right. It was, <laughs> then it, then it was only the barbarian. The barbarian. <laughs> I was the necromancer too sometimes. Mostly the barbarian though. If you were mostly I, barbarian. I would I would sit there and watch you play and then you would let me play and then I started my own and I played it for like a month maybe and then I gave up. That, that's what usually happens with salmon games. Yes. <laughs> Unless <laughs> Unless it's Fantasy Star, Halo that's 3, a, that's another or Kingdom topic. Hearts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's... so, what was your first computer game Oh, it actually elementary school was my first gaming experience, because I remember playing games like, uh, first of all, where in the world is Carver in San Diego? I'm pretty sure everyone who yeah. grew everyone played up that, in the I 90s think. and went to school. But then, like, another game, which was all, all the time in school, I don't know if you guys remember Math Blasters? Yes. That was I was like, going to say the math games and all that. It was the Aww. only time I was I, – I absolutely hate math more than anything in the world, but it was the only time I was excited to do math is when we got to play Math Blasters in the computer lab when we went once a week. Uh, but my first ever, like, true gaming experience uh, actually was Command & Conquer. I don't know if you guys ever played that, but it was definitely yeah. it was definitely one of my first, like, true gaming experiences. And then from there, it was, you know – Command and Conquer, and then I remember the first Roller Coaster Tycoon coming out. I still and then that. around that time was you know, uh, when uh, what I have, like, now I'm just going to a blank. Uh, Starcraft came out around that time too, so we got me and my brother got really into Starcraft. And that was on the N64 too. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know that I the N64 versions ten million times harder than the computer version. The I, I don't just... think I could ever play that. <laughs> it's I really wacky. It I played it once and I was like, this is not StarCraft. I couldn't do it. I just was done. I was like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. No, yeah, that that that's that's got to be the ones that my first really experiences that I had. I just remember spending countless hours playing, you know, StarCraft, Command and Conquer, and Roller Coaster Tycoon. So. Yeah, no, and, and you know we, we won't just talk console gaming. We'll talk the the computer gaming as well because we're very big computer gamers. The at least the three of us. Sam is more of a console gamer, although he's yeah he's mostly he's dropped off the scale a bit. Since. Yeah, he's dropped. Ever, he's ever scaled since it Fantasy down. Star stopped. No, <laughs> actually, Halo Three. Yeah, Fantasy no, Star was my Xbox, my original yeah. Xbox love, which I'm getting that original Xbox fixed very soon because I really want to get back on online <laughs> there and play that. But Halo 3 was my love for Xbox 360, and I could still beat all three of you. Well, you play Halo more than any of us do, so yeah, probably. Ma gotta get that Master Chief collection, man. Dude, I'm, all the time. I am thinking about it. I am thinking about it. Just because it's like Halo 3 was like such an awesome game, and it's like, just uh, I hate how they turned Halo 4 into like, uh, I don't know, it, it's more realistic. I would say. Yeah, no, you. It it, it totally took away from what you know Bungie did, and I think Microsoft kind of came in and just killed it. Yeah, don't play the Halo Five beta then; it's terrible. Is it? Yeah, it's like they just they ruined it. I'm sure other people will think differently, but no, I mean, yeah. I didn't best. even know Halo Five was coming out. I'm one of those people where I am probably the worst in this room at Halo, but I. I can't get enough of Halo. Halo is such a good game. There was one time when I was very good when you wouldn't even be able to beat me, but that was a long time ago. What, what, are we talking about original Halo where if you're trying to snipe, you had to aim like 10 feet in front of you? <laughs> <Halo? laughs> well, that's what we're talking about. That's you kind of real. Look off each other. Come all on. I, all <laughs> I know is, is, Chris, you could put yourself at your prime in Halo and put me in my prime, and I promise you I'd beat you. That's because you probably played for a thousand more hours than yeah, me. Sam, I'd right. probably say like 5,000 more. I was I was to a point one time where me and a group of people who I am still good friends with over Xbox Live from all over this country, the four of us together, we were looking into MLG and trying to go pro at one point. What? <laughs> trying to, but hey, yeah, trying to. Wait, we tried to go going MLG. Pros the whole oh yeah, we 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 were, we tried. I don't remember that? Yeah, we were we were si we signed I was, up. I was awful at we, gaming. We, we we signed up for a lot of different MLG tournaments and stuff like that, and we all wanted Not to go out to New York for a giant one that they did for Halo. I don't remember that at all. I was, yeah. see, I was like okay, 14. Most of my beginning fat. gaming experience, which is why I, I I honestly got a late start in playing gaming, because a lot of it was watching Chris. 
And uh, yeah, so a lot of my my gaming now we can hear for you. the beginning. My bad. No, we was, can uh, you. I just had was to watching that. Chris play games, and uh, God, it, like I I remember watching you even play Ocarina of Time and stuff like that. Yeah. And it wasn't. Yeah. I, mean, I can't even remember what the first game I actually played through on my own was, but. I always remember because when I was little, I'd like start playing. If I was playing alone, I get afraid and shit. I'd just be like, "No, save. I'm done. I, I'm gonna die. Done for the day." And I wouldn't pick it up later. And then I like come back like ten years later, like I got this. I'm 13 now. No, not that I was playing games when I was three, but yeah, that's how most of my beginning gaming experience started was just watching Chris and learning through him. Kind of want to play Halo Three now. <laughs> <laughs> well, go to that because you. you, you being a huge, you, you really like shooters a lot. Is more yes. of what you like. I mean, you like the the Call of Duties and, and yes. the Halos and that uh, games that we play. So so you 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 more play shooting games, shooting and sports. I would say and, and right to play some NHL. Yeah, a lot. NHL yeah. mostly. Uh, can't do it. I I um <laughs> I like NHL. I I. I consider myself more of an all-around gamer. I play a lot of games. I mean, I'll play RPGs, I'll play sports games, I'll play action games, shooters. Not so much shooters. Now, I, I mean, different first-person games, but not not really the shooter variety anymore. It's more of um, a, a, a general sort of thing that I've been going with. And, and I, I, I probably lean more towards RPGs more than anything. Yeah. I mean, you started with Final Fantasy yeah. and all that, so that's why. But me, like... Would you consider Kingdom Hearts a... RPG. That yeah, is, that is an yeah, RPG. RPG. But but that's you know what that's different though because that's uh, it's a different style yeah, of RPG. It's also different. such a popular everything in it. Right. Everything Disney that you it, can think yeah, of. I mean, so yeah. it just reaches to such a vast majority of people. Like, oh yeah, I like Disney. Why not? Yeah, because every because there's so many people like Disney and there's a lot of people who like different the, the, the different yeah. Square games that that are represented like, in there. Let's put it this way: If you have one favorite Disney character, you can go play that game just so you can go find that character that you like and play with them. Yep, you can go. To Why that would world. you not get that game? <laughs> right, and you go into their world too, and it's you yeah. actually you play inside the world, like explore. And you, like, if your favorite Disney movie was Peter Pan, you yeah. can literally go inside to Neverland and fucking play and fight Captain Hook with Sora, who Sora is the main character. And just it's it's just not. I love that game. And, and I'm getting a leg sleeve tattoo of that game by the way. Guys. Are you really? Oh, that's yes. hairy legs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good luck with that one. Jeez, we want to have a hairy leg competition. I don't even want to bust out. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I think me and Vince are the yeah, winners here. I already bad, remember man. that. That's okay. I I don't want to win that competition anyways. But to <laughs> to go back to the the Kingdom Hearts, and now with Star Wars. They're saying might even be in there. I mean, if Star Wars was in Kingdom Hearts, forget about it. Yeah, I mean, gonna Luke's gonna. Uh, God, who would it be? Would it be Luke? Nah, it would. They would. They would, they would do. Luke. They would do Darth Vader. It would be Luke and Darth Vader. Well, I know. I'm it, wouldn't like go, it wouldn't go. It wouldn't go any. It wouldn't go any. It would not go any further. It could be. It, they could go the new route though too. Whatever J.J. Abrams is doing, they could have like characters from his movie. Because you think about the time when, when Kingdom Hearts is supposed to come out. It's supposed to come out what? After the seventh movie. Yeah. After it's this, after the seventh it's movie, at, yeah. so it's coming out in twenty six. No, because it's coming out this year, right? No, yeah, King, the Kingdom Hearts is supposed to come out this year. Yeah, so twenty fifteen. Yeah, I so thought it, I thought they were saying twenty sixteen. No, it's Definitely. supposed to be twenty fifteen. So if it's twenty fifteen, it could sort of coincide with the. Um, and I think, I but think, they probably won't. That, that's just yeah. I'm saying they could. I don't want to get way too deep into this, but I think they would do like you know the original trilogy. I think more people. Yeah, it would definitely. It would definitely. I don't know though because if you think about it, the, the that the Kingdom Hearts game is going to be appealing to the younger generation for the Disney and stuff like that. It would more so in part partake to the newer series of. Not really. Star Wars. I, mean, I would because think. Kingdom Hearts three. This is a trilogy for for Kingdom Hearts. And exactly. So people have been following. Think about what what year did the first Kingdom Hearts come out? How old uh, were you? I think I, was, I think it was like two thousand one. It was what? was it two thousand one or was well, it two thousand two? When did PlayStation two come out? Uh, I mean, come on, guys. We all have we all have phones two. now. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say you guys have your phones on you. Google challenge who can find it first. And I have a giant. <laughs> Tune in next time. I have I have a I have a I have a I I have a a a. a a computer in front of me. Come on. Come on, Wikipedia. It came out... 2002. 2002, yes. first release. I was so, close. I was a year March 28th. Yeah. yeah, the general time period. All right. So. I don't like Wikipedia anymore. Why? Because they're saying... for donations? No, pl they're saying the platforms that it can be played on is a mobile phone, which is false. No, it can. Yeah. 
Really? Well, they they have a different. I forget what they have on um, <laughs> web browser. They do have a. They do have some different. It's not like the actual Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah, it's, it's like, like some ports thing. and stuff. It's not. It's not a. Uh, Regardless, you, or not you, ports. Uh, you you just, can't you. Uh, it, when I think of playing the game, or being able to play a version of the game, I'm thinking the PlayStation Two, the Game Boy, or the PSP version. Waiting for the PS. Uh, it's gonna be a PS4 version when Kingdom Hearts uh, 3 comes out, and it's saying uh, Xbox One as well, which that's false because Kingdom Hearts is a no, uh, not anymore, not anymore. Yeah, did they buy the rights to that? Right? Yeah, Xbox. It, well, it's gonna come out on Xbox. Yeah, one. it's gonna be on both, right? Yeah, that's yeah, so probably on both. I didn't, yeah. I did not read that. Yeah, that's uh, there's fuck. there's a lot of games that are now that used to be you know exclusive. I think the are. only exclusives that I know of Halo is pretty much like one of the only ones I could really there's think the, of. There's a lot of exclusives oh. still. You just if you go online, oh, yeah. you can find the different list of exclusives. But yeah, they've got it, it's going to be for both Xbox One and PS3. Damn and, PS4 Woo. or P, yeah PS4. Excuse <laughs> so me. Many I, I'm still there's stuck so in many the last now. generation. You can pre-order it now, actually, and I'm looking at the Target site right now you because I wanted 30 to see. Bucks down on it. Well, I was seeing release you can put date anything. November November 30th, 2015, is the release date wow, for it. Wow, so, be... so we still got a bit of time. Pre-order but... it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right I'm not right now. T- Get the credit card out. Yeah. No, Sam, seriously, read that do it. Out for yeah, read your, pre- your credit <laughs> out. I'm not, if I'm pre-ordering it, I'm not pre-ordering it. Target though. Yeah, that's probably so. Good. Who cares? But, uh, I think this would be a good segue into. One of our other topics. Hey, uh, I was still going into what it's your favorite games are. Oh, are we still on favorite games? I, I was going to say No, no, not games. favorite games. Like, what's ge- genres do is everyone Oh, like? oh, shit, we are, huh? Yeah, yeah you, you, all right, we'll, yeah. we'll keep going with that then. No, I, I mean, say, I really already said it. it you, it's just you and Vince who need to say, yeah. and you can um, do it real fast. I mean, me, I honestly, I can't watch. I play sports, can't watch sports, I can't play video games and sports, so. If I do, I'm screwing around. I'll do like the mascot games, or I'll play That's okay. Blitz for the 64. It's probably the only sport game I actually like, because I just run back to my end zone, throw a bomb. Hopefully, he catches it. And if you're playing against Chris, he cheats. He intercepts it every time. I, um, I, I but don't cheat. Other than, but okay, <laughs> shut up. You know what I mean. But uh, my favorite uh, yeah, this type of gaming would have to be RPGs and. I mean, recently, more survival and, like, sandbox games. Like, yeah. me and you, we just went on a, like, 48-hour binge of playing Starbound. Well, gosh, yeah, we played that for so long. And, like, then, and then we were up to, then we were, we were up <laughs> super late last night. We were playing this new one that, that oh, you yeah. showed me. Um, the, God, I want to say, I always get it mix, mixed up. Uh, I think it's called The Long Dark. It's an alpha game, so it's early alpha, too. But uh, it's a sandbox survival game of, uh... Pretty, yeah, pretty much like there's no story yet because it's alpha. They said it's not available in alpha, but I think what the storyline is is like your plane crashes in the Arctic. It's kind of like post-apocalyptic, but point is you're in the Arctic and you're trying to survive. It's freezing cold. You're fr- trying to find shelter and other stuff like that. But fun game. Me and Chris, yeah, we've been playing it for quite a bit last night. And the, the way I put yeah, <laughs> the, the way I put it is this: think of the the book Hatchet. Yeah. So, in game form, almost. See, yeah. that's what I was thinking when Nikki said that the plane crashes in the Arctic. The yeah. first thing I thought about was like, "Damn, but, sounds like Hatchet." But that was the. But but if you remember in Hatchet, he didn't start. It wasn't cold. It wasn't the yeah. winter when. No, when it was. Gets, it was like. Su- it was like, like fall, summer, 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 or uh, I think it was like autumn. Yeah. Because this because he's he's got a windbreaker on. Yeah. Uh, is it autumn fall? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, point is. <laughs> The same thing, guys. If you've ever read Hatchet, and if you ever read Brian's Winter, Brian's is, Winter is the one. Which it's is like. the one after it, which never really happens, but it's a hypothetical about what would happen if he had to stay it's there. Pretty good too. Pretty much the same thing, yeah. Is that like call, call Gary Polson, one of my favorite authors? <laughs> <laughs> Gary Polson. This is like, what's this reading you talking no, about? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I actually haven't read that book. It's one I of still those. have to read the book you gave me, Vince. Uh, Ready Player One. I oh, still, you... still have to read oh, that. Talk about video games. That is a video game book. You gotta yeah. get into that. Um. Anyway, um, yeah, my favorite genres. I'm kind of same boat as Chris. I play a little bit of everything, but I would have to say my favorite that I get the only ones I can really get like emotionally, emotionally in depth with would be RPGs and then any kind of MMO. Really, I'm a huge MMO person. I never got into World of Warcraft, but no. there was a. 
What's an MMO? What's an MMO? <laughs> it's a massive, massively multiplayer online game. So, As you, you can know. see, this is how much I know nothing about gaming. <laughs> World of Warcraft, you know, the Star Wars okay, okay. game we all three yeah. of us are playing. Uh, yeah. there's, there's a I've few got, I've got right. I mean, Des is Destiny kind of is now an MMO. Destiny is an MMO. Yeah. Is, Rune is, is RuneScape is. an MMO? Yes. 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 Yeah. What, yeah. what, what about Assassin's Creed? No, uh, no, that's uh, yeah. that would be. I think Unity that's technically like a you can't. Yeah, sort of. For I think Assassin's Unity, Creed. Unity, you can play MMO wise because you're playing with other people online, so that's kind of MMO. MMO though is like you know think of just think of uh, what's it called? Just, just think World of World, World of Warcraft. Warcraft yeah, that's really, that. yeah, that's the one that everyone knows. So. Yeah, I, I mean, just because I'm curious to see what they consider. I'm sure they consider Unity as a action adventure stealth. <laughs> yeah, wait, stealth, stealth is a genre. Now. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, stealth, totally yeah. is a genre. I didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, you think about Metal Gear Solid and some of the is other it, games. That, okay, yeah. I, I, mean, it, I didn't it know they were considering Splinter it. Splinter Cell. That's like the oh, biggest man. stealth I, I, game I, I can think of. Metal Gear Solid. I don't know. Probably is the biggest. Uh, uh, Hey, is, Splinter Cell came out of before War? Metal Gear Solid. No, it didn't. <laughs> what about Gears of War? I don't know. I don't know. No, Metal Gear Solid is What about Gears of War? Wouldn't that be kind of stealth? Yeah, but was what? it? No. Gears of War? Gears of War. Are you kidding you, me? <laughs> Third-person shooter. Really? Yeah. yeah. Gears of War is... Stealth in... It's war. How's your stealth in yeah. war, man? <laughs> you gotta be stealthy or you're gonna fucking die. No, you're not being stealthy. You have to be smart. <laughs> Halo's a stealth game now. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, now I'm gonna have an argument with Chris because I think Splinter Cell came out before... Dude, I don't know. Oh, Splinter no, no, Cell no, no, came no, no, out no, no, in 2002. No, no, no. Was Dude, the first Splinter Cell game. The first Metal Gear Solid game was an arcade game. Oh yeah, that's like, right. Though. No, it was an NES. No, it was an NES. Oh, I thought game, it was an arcade so. game. Yeah, no, Metal Gear. Metal Gear, because it was. But Metal Gear Solid yeah. itself came out, and I believe it was 1998. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just looking for the. Uh, I just don't remember. Down. Release date: 1998. Yeah. yeah. So. I know my history of gaming, I, but I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Really I love Splinter Cell. It's That's an awesome game, game, game too. too. I don't think I ever played Splinter Cell. I just never got into the Metal Gear Solid. So you know what? I haven't played the new one for Splinter Cell, speaking of that, or the newer one. No. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it's, um, you know, it, it's still, it has platforming aspects, I guess you could say, for Assassin's Creed because, mm -hmm. you know, you're jumping off of buildings to other buildings and, you are and stuff hiding, like but... that. And, so, so it, yeah, it is stealth, of course. But. And the new genre, me and Nick like to call this free running. Yeah, All the games genre. that have come out where you're I just still, free still running. I still haven't played Mirror's Edge, though. Uh, that's See, a good game. Uh, is Second that the game where out. you can, like, jump across everything? Yeah. yeah. You do that in uh, Titanfall. <laughs> There's a lot. That, that's you know what's a game where you jump across everything? Mario. <laughs> I mean, there's true. a lot of games the you can say that. That is the first official that free runner. The original free yeah. runner. Sonic and Mario, the first free runners. That's why they have their own Olympic Games. Ho, ho, ho. Tied it in. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of free running games, I guess you could say that. Yeah, technically. But, uh, yeah, now I'm losing my train of thought now because we're talking about games, uh, you know, it's more genres that we play, but we play yeah. we play pretty much everything. Yeah, I mean, that kind of yeah. covers... At least for the like three of us. Sam, we know he's a shooter. Everything but sports. Can't do sports. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam's pretending to shoot us with a Apple case iPhone case. case. I hate all kind of iPhones now. Even Android more. now. <laughs> it, no, even more with the passion because I fix phones for a living now. And their um, Apple is just... Their design is just... They make people like me want to. So you have to pay money to get it fixed. And no, shit like yeah, that. it's just. Seems like they're such a pain. They're designed to do something like change a battery on like a 4S and things like that. It's just, it's. Yeah, I just pop off the back on my phone. <laughs> yeah, it's so. Lucky, stupid. lucky you guys. Lucky you guys. I have an iPhone, so. I have to. I love my iPhone. I was going to say, luckily I don't have any issues with my iPhone. Android I'm not one of those people that has to go get it. Hold on, let me go get a, a cup of water so I can dip my phone in it and gloat in front of you <laughs> fucking iPhone news. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm sorry, I don't go underwater with my phone a whole lot as it is Scuba anyway. Dives. Yeah, let me, let, me go, let me go update my phone without first having to delete half of what's on there. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, I've never had to have so much space for the, mo the, the, like the, the most Updates. recent update. It's like, what? It's like two gigs. It's I need five gigs. Wow. I think. What? Yeah, it's ridiculous. There's I don't know. I I I, a, uh, I have an update. <laughs> right, I don't there's care. There's, for Apple. There's really a huge. It, it's a huge new security update with their phones. So I, I don't even care. Oh, they're keeping the fingerprints <laughs> now. The funniest thing I heard lately on a uh, a local radio station here in Chicago. What are they like? <laughs> you know, I don't know what they really call them, but one of the things they play, they're like, "Oh, you got the new iPhone? Oh, you got that update?" 
Yeah, y you can save one picture, but then you have to <laughs> delete it right away. <laughs> That's why I didn't update my phone. I, I, I'm, I'm staying in I don't the, know the last the older. update I got was. But uh, anyway, what, what's our next? Uh, well, I, we, I was we, gonna say we should go stay for with theme. historic gaming. Well, so like we were just talking games. about genres. Kinda I mean, covered that. I mean, yeah. You can go. We can go. We can continue with with. Uh, you know, we, we were talking about games we play. Really. Well, we we said. But, yeah. What's our favorite? Yeah, I was gonna say we favorite. said favorite yeah, genre, exactly. favorite, favorite game, right? Favorite yeah. game. Uh, I mean, Sam, let's hear yours. I mean, this yeah. is. Oh, you know, we kind of said his, didn't you? Uh. Yeah, he said Kingdom his. Hearts and Halo. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, he said his. Uh, I mean. <laughs> yeah, my. I mean, mine. I mean, are we going favorite game now or like of all? Let's let's time? do now and then of all time. Okay, and my favorite oh, I have game. To change my mind. Now, <laughs> I, I I'm really in the Titanfall right now. It's like yeah. it's just it's that so is a lot addicting. Of fun. I mean, it's just <laughs> I just like free running and no, punching I, with the robot. You know, I'm, again, I'm not. I love you know first person shooters. I'm not the best at them, but I you know Titanfall is one of those you know that I just really got into. Um, of all time, and this is just like you know you. Some people it's probably so hard to pick. I know, but some people probably won't even call this a game because it's you know it's kind of like a social interaction. Oh god, I know what it is. <laughs> I know what it is too. Yeah, see, like if people know me, it's Habbo Hotel, man. I <laughs> I grew up on Habbo Hotel. Like I would go to school, come home, go on Habbo Hotel till I went to bed. Wait, wait, wait. What did you do on Habbo Hotel? What you've always told me this. I think every time we've talked about it. What was your uh, job in Habbo? Well, I started with a. <laughs> I started with a, our good friend Mike Lynn. I did a. Uh, we did Star Wars role playing on Habbo, and uh, after that kind of ended, I got into it was Harry Potter role playing or Hogwarts. Role playing, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I could go into this for hours. I have such good memories, but yeah, um, did you not believe we were nerds? Yeah, no, I was a, uh, I was Fucking a, nerds. I was a flying and brooms teacher and a uh, the history of Quidditch teacher. And, so I and could... ironically, now three of us, not Sam, uh, Chris and Vance and I now play Quidditch. Yeah, it's, yes, it's we, we do play Quidditch. No, but uh, Chicago Phoenix <laughs> represent <laughs> high university Quidditch team, fly Bobcats. <laughs> <laughs> and also the Phoenix. And the Phoenix. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the Phoenix team in the summer. You've played more tournaments than both of us, I think. Well, yeah. I, think I, I think me and you were I even. played an official one. I didn't get to I play remember. the official one because I was working, so I couldn't yeah. go. Anyway, back to Vincent Habbo. No, yeah, from, from Habbo, too, spinning off of, I don't even know how I got into it, but I used to, uh, I actually used to, like, do online DJing. It was more, it wasn't really DJing because, you know, it was more being an online personality for a, uh, one of, like, the, a small Habbo music website, and it got pretty serious. I was actually one of, like, the, uh, I was voted one of the best American DJs on, like, the top <laughs> Habbo awesome. radio w website. It's I called, about it's called that. Habbox Live, or Habbox Live, if you guys want to look that up. Yeah. But, yeah, I was actually, it's still there, too. It's not, not as good as it used to be, but I, I used to, I would wake up, I remember, at, like, 5 a.m. because it, it's based out of the UK, so I'd wake up at like 5 a.m. to get a decent slot to DJ on, so I can get like a hundred listeners. So yeah, I used to I used to DJ for Havox Live in there. I, I'm not gonna play it, but it no, looks no, like yeah, it's, uh... yeah, it's still up, and obviously it's not. I don't think anyone's DJing right now because it's you know over there. It's like I don't even know, probably like three, four, four, five a.m. So. But no, I remember I used to DJ at like 5 a.m. to get like a decent slot over there in the UK. But and, and they have job openings, Vince. If you want to get, <laughs> I get back, back into, into Habbo, there. I never got into Habbo. No, I mean I got I got yelled at because the person who took over the station. Um, I I mean, like the millions of people who listen to music nowadays, downloaded all my music, and <laughs> so the quality is not the greatest. So I, that's that's kind of how I had my fallout. But I did that for a while and. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll log on just to see who's... I still have a few friends that still log on from time to time, and they'll tell me to get on, and we'll we'll spend, like, a whole five minutes on there before it's it's done, so... Yeah, I mean, and this... this I'm, I'm looking at it. The forums, there there's posts from today and yesterday, so, I mean, Havox, your, your old DJ, you know, where you were DJing before... It's still there. No, yeah, it was a good. It was such, <laughs> still going strong. It was good times. I don't think it's as popular as now as it used to be, but you know, it's kind of. 
kind of the way things go. Things way, the way things go. Yep. <laughs> but that, that's pretty funny because I mean that, that that's your favorite game. I remember. I mean, I had it like it was it was one of those things where if you had like an account that was like super old, it was like a you know it was like oh man this person's been around forever they're yeah. they're awesome blah 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 because I had like a UK because there was there was um there ended up being a UK and a dot com uh-huh. eventually you remember that and the dot com didn't come till way later but I had a UK one and it was like from like two thousand and four or two thousand and two or some like ridiculously early year of it so. I could never get back onto it though. It was so sad. Yeah, no, I know if you like go on there now and like you get like a special badge if you're you know had an account in a certain year and you probably look like you know people are probably like making fun of you now because you're from like 2006 and you. I was gonna guys. say I, I feel that way almost with Steam because <laughs> I've been on Steam forever. Yeah, you. I, I think yours is almost 10 years. No, now. I think mine is 10 years no, now. I don't know because I think I remember because didn't um, your 10 year vet? Then, they better give you some fucking bonus. Didn't Mike probably have looked it before? Oh. I can look it up I right mean, now. It does say it on your account. Yeah, that's that's the beauty. But of I think I remember looking at like right yours and Mike Lynn's. I think Mike Lynn was almost at ten, and you were like at like, eight or like seven or something like that. I have like Mike Lynn beat. You have Mike Lynn beat. I have Mike oh, Lynn beat. I thought Mike Lynn had his longer than yours. No. Oh shit. I, yeah, I see, haven't beat. See, I couldn't even check because I, I, I had an original Steam account, and I don't even remember what that is. And I, I, see, think I just mine... made mine like two years ago. <laughs> I think mine's Ooh, like steamless. I would say five, maybe. I don't know if we can look that up, but. Maybe we can do that. Ten years, baby. Oh, wow. That's right. Years. It's October 30th of wow, 2004. Wow. At 7.19 p.m. <laughs> it's uh, got no. a time. <laughs> so, so I joined at 7.19 p.m. on wow. 2000, October 30th of 2004. That's nuts. So I was, go, to, go to my account real yeah, fast. Go, go, just, to Mike go to everyone's. Right. Yeah, let's look at mine, too. Just... Let's see. Yeah, just go to your games. 139 games, you know, that's not a lot at all. Yeah, I have a lot of games. Some of those might be from mine, though. Go to my account. No, because it wouldn't come up. Oh, it wouldn't? No. Are we even friends on? um, Yeah, we are. I just need to look on the list for... That would be in the Vs, man. We're not even friends. Nick, are you... Yeah, that's... No, that's not mine. No. No. Sorry, just it was ridiculous. You're, you're. That's right. You're, you're. Yeah, I'm Skippy Pippy. <laughs> yeah, two years, Nick. Yeah, Ooh, like I said, I, I just got mine a few years ago. Oh, I remember player. that. I, I don't even think I'm on your friends list. No, Chris. you should be. Oh, yeah, there I am. Yeah. Last online Vince, 13 days see. ago, Vince. Eight years. Ooh, I'm pushing him, man. Eight years. I let's think. Let's, let's I know know it now, now I'll have to go to our friend Mike Lynn, who is also like... a huge gamer, who's going to be on here uh, on one of our. One of ours. He's got a bunch of badges. Yeah, we're going to have to look through. All this crazy stuff. <laughs> I don't even know where it would say on his no, badges. No, it's just the badges. You just have to go down. He just has a bunch of them because he's Mike Lynn. Oh, he plays. He's, he plays Nine everything. Years. Nine, Nine years. years. I, I almost beat be. Mike Lynn. But I'm only a year behind. Uh, I might have started the same Tyler. as Mike. He's been playing or no? Tyler is fairly new, too. Right, That's our cousin well. that Nick has. He's yeah. another gamer who... We'll have on here as well on one of our future yeah. podcasts, and that's another thing I was gonna say for one of the future ones. We'll probably do quite a few of them live, five years instead of delayed like we are doing now. Yeah, we're gonna do this one delayed. We're gonna try and do every Sunday, and we'll we'll, we'll eventually we'll probably do like a whole, even like a a webcam on me and Vince as as we're doing it since you won't be here. And, yeah. And you know we'll we'll have yeah, Sam on again from time to time if he feels like coming back if if we haven't scared him away with the first one. <laughs> oh, Sam's just no. sitting there texting <laughs> like fucking nerds. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's, that's funny though. That's I mean I I don't even remember Steam eight years ago. Like what the heck was I playing eight years ago on Steam? I Counter well, Strike is the only thing I can remember. It was different then because you it wasn't it wasn't like this back then. It wasn't really like. Oh, you get games on Steam. It was like, oh, this is what we use now to play Counter Strike. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It was more like a server list, I guess. Yeah, it was sort of like that. It really has changed a lot since then. Steam so, sale. <laughs> right. And, uh, yeah, let's go into that. I mean, if we're talking Steam, and sorry, Sam might just completely Sam's <laughs> out on this one. Sam's sorry, Sam. Sam. I, 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 if you guys are going into Steam, let me hop off. All right, I'm gonna hop there. off for a minute. And- <laughs> Make some food and I'll be back. Right. For sure. Go ahead and make some food. Make the rest of us food too if you want. I'm throwing a pizza. <laughs> oh, oh, cough, cough. What the? F- 
What 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 does this look like? Does this look like a fucking kitchen service? Yep. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, 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 I accept I accept I accept Seriously. debit I accept debit and cash. Throw a uh, pizza yeah. on the the rotator thing. I say that. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Just throw a Jack's pizza on oh. there. Oh, you oh. did it. I I didn't even oh. get to mute it fast enough. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, but um. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about flash so, sale. Yeah. I, yeah, the Steam God. sale, which just finished. What? Well, a, what, a first, I would say week ago? it uh, finished on the second. Oh, was, so right. so a little less yeah. than a week. Yeah, but uh, I was I'm gonna, gonna let you guys get into this because I, I I feel so. I, I, feel I like, really didn't buy many. No, this neither sale. did I. But I will say, if you haven't seen the Steam sale videos of people like just like with the like creator, founder, of Steam, whatever the hell. But uh, if, if you haven't seen any of those YouTube videos about the Steam sales, they're pretty funny. Like some of them are. Uh, of Lord of the Rings or something like that, and it'll show like the army of like the orcs, and they're all the sales, and everyone's like, "Don't go, go below twenty dollars," and they're like shooting arrows of like with like different dollar amounts at them. Eighty percent uh, <laughs> off. <laughs> oh no, it's Daisy. It's ninety percent off. I can't handle it. <laughs> or some stupid shit like That's that. That's funny. I mean, it's well, you know what? They have some really good well, sales. Oh, it's it's hard to to not. You know, like I've never I mean, played Planetary. I, I've I've heard a yes. lot about Planetary Annihilation. It's eighty percent off right now, and you know that that'll change obviously as uh, the, you know they do the weekend sales and different things. Yeah. But flash sales, man. Flash the sales. flash sales. There's some of them that are just it's that hard the, to pass uh, up. Some of them. What the community vote? I always like that because like it'll be like okay, do you want these games at like really like big games at like fifteen bucks, or do you want these really small games for like sixty cents? And I'm just like, give me the sixty cent games. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I I love, I I I mean, Steam now. I think one of the big things about Steam too is you can get some of these, you know, you know, not huge name games that are from indie creators and stuff for like you know yeah. dollar, and it's some of the funnest oh, games yeah. ever. And that's kind of what I I've you know that's what I've kind of now focus too on my steam is i've been getting all these smaller games yeah. versus you know like, like I mean, big names well there's some goat really simulator good i am toast all this other stuff i mean hell i'm pretty sure starbound is an indie game that's yeah starbound still, is it's still what beta I yeah it's say. beta it's still in yeah, its I mean, beta stages we probably have the same amount of time on it 116 hours me and chris have played i know last winter break we were at 55 hours if i remember yeah right. we were we were really, so we, we got we, this game last year this time and we played it for 55 hours, and then it got a huge update, I think, like, December 20th or something like that for the uh, the Unstable Alpha or Beta, beta. whichever it is. Yeah, it's and unsta- we played that for another, like, 55 hours. Like, I mean, we it's an indie lot. game, but holy hell, it was awesome. Yeah, it, it, it's something that we really enjoyed, and, it, you know, it's still in, in, in its fairly early stages. They're, they're still implementing a lot of what they want to do in the game. For those of you who don't know about Starbound, it's really a... Uh, Think of Terraria if you play Terraria or Minecraft. I guess would be the what what let's, sort let's of start the like whole this. genre right. starter. There's Minecraft. You should all know what Minecraft is. If you don't, I don't know why you're listening to this. Uh, <laughs> then there's Terraria, which is the 2D version of it, which is just it's flat, whatever. Which then is, but it's also different from yeah, it. Yeah, it's, there's a, it's lot a of bit different. I I don't, I don't think I ever played Terraria. Honestly, I've watched a few people play it, but I'm like, oh, it's like a 2D Minecraft. And so then there's that, and then there's Starbound, which is Terraria on steroids, I think, is what we call is how we called it because it's like space. You can be different races. Like I'm a bird, Chris is a human. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I'm a bird. But it, but I'm it's really bird. yeah. But but it's you know you have a spaceship that you're on, then you go explore different planets. It's still that whole sandbox sort of thing, and you can build whatever you want on oh, these yeah. planets. And yeah. and now they've added like you can upgrade your ship, so now you can have a massive ship with Mine all this different space. <laughs> pretty, pretty much yours was, and it. It's still in the beta, though, and it's still becoming a bigger and bigger game with more and more aspects to it. Some of the things are changing as well. I mean, the way that you mine is a little bit different, yeah. but, but it's also a game, too. Yeah. And, and, and I'm I not, mean, it's still beta. I mean, yeah. well. <laughs> And it's not all about the mining, though, too. It's no, not, no, it's a lot about exploration, which is pretty it, fun. Yes, and I, I, I think that they kind of need to change a little bit with the game, though, because they, they've made it more about mining in the latest update. I think they yeah. need to kind of go back to the exploration part. The exploration part where there's more I mean, well, resources t- towards the surface. I mean, part of exploring is going underneath. They just they need to find a better balance because you can't yeah. you can't find anything now on the surface. You no, can't. But I mean pretty much what they did though now to me what it looks like is they just separated each pr- pretty much each upgrade like okay, 
you have to go to this planet to get this stuff, and now you have an upgraded suit and all this, so now you have to go here to get this stuff. Which it, I like. It pretty much was like a step ladder, which I mean, I didn't mind it, but, I mean, why do I have to go to the frozen planet before I go to the one on fire? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of get that. I, I think they're still trying to I mean, figure... I think more freedom between deciding where you can go would be better. Maybe not right off, because, like, at the beginning, yeah, sure, make it hard to move. But... I'm just, because I, I know I've heard you guys talk about it, so uh, you, this is good for me, because I'm definitely looking for more games to buy, so I'm yeah. just researching it right now. It looks pretty good. No, yeah. it, it is It's a, it's a lot of fun. With friends, it's definitely a lot of fun. I mean, what was his, What was Pat's friend that we played with? Joe? Uh, was his name Joe? I think his name was Joe, yeah, right? We played with, I don't know why we didn't get him this time. We should have. Yeah, we should have. We played <laughs> this for... last time, we played, like, the he entire with time with him, and he was yeah. going to, yeah... That can, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> no, that I mean, it's just it's a good game to yeah, which it's sadly, like Minecraft in in sort of ways where it's got a pretty good social yeah. aspect sort of built into it almost. Yeah, which sadly, which I've never seen it yet. Talking about the Steam sale, I've never seen Starbound on uh, sale. But they don't have to it's go on it's sale. It's, like, well, it's fifteen bucks. Yeah, or something fourteen like ninety nine right? is what it was. Yeah, that's so. the whole thing. You don't really yeah. need when you're fourteen dollars. But not oh, only yeah. that, they are. I mean, I, I think they're well over a million people have bought the game yeah, I already. Think so. So they don't need to really offer the game as a uh, on a sale because they don't they they keep making money. Yeah. So so why would you do that? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they don't need to. But um, speaking of but, but, but we, we were originally talking about the Steam sale. You bought a couple of games, I know, during the the winter sale. Yeah, God, I'm trying to think of what the hell I bought. <laughs> I, I, hold on, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go grab my laptop and I'm gonna see what I actually. Hell, well, here I know. I, I know one to... game that I bought. Yeah, I bought. I um, can, let's go bigger. I mean, I, it's an old game. I think you said you remember playing it forever ago. Um, the ship murder party. Yes, the ship, which yeah, was we one of the games that, that it was, was like on five s- bucks on it, sale. I'm like, well, why not? It was. It started off on Steam as I want to say like a mod to a game. It wasn't actually like a. It, or it was a standalone game, but it was like it was off of yeah. It was, it was a standalone. almost like Gary's mod or something like that. It wasn't Gary. It, it was like that though, where it was. You know what um, I mean, though. It's a, a mod of a, a game. A, a, a Valve, um, like you know, the Valve engine. Yeah. Sort of game. It was like that. Yeah, they're but it was using like, the engine, but yeah. Right. I think it's the Valve engine. Is that what it is? Something like that. I, 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 don't I know. you know, whatever the Half Life engine is, is is what you know the ship was originally off of, and I think it still might be. But the game has evolved a lot since, like, 2005 or whatever when I first saw the game and tried it out. Yeah, I mean, this is just, I mean, just looking at Steam, and this is why I think Steam's one of the best, you know, things there is out there. It's on the, I'm on the Steam webpage right now. Uh, so there is almost 6,000 games that are under $10,000. 10, $10, 6,000 yeah. games. And there's almost... 3,500 of those under $5. So that's like, you know, you can get a great game for 5 bucks. That's yeah. pretty I mean, unbeatable. And that's why computer gaming, you know, I think that's why it's... I mean, there's pros and cons to, to, yeah. to Steam, of course, but... I mean, it looks like, though, Steam is the way to go because all gaming now, it just look. Sure, you can argue each way, but it looks like a lot of gaming is just becoming download the game once, then you have it wherever the hell you want. Like, I could go log in either from my computer, Chris's computer, Vince's computer, a computer in wherever. I can open up my Steam, download the game onto that computer, and play it instead of, oh, I have my Xbox, I have to bring my disc, whatever. Like, you have... You pretty, pretty much, like, the game, there's no physical copy, so you could play it wherever. Yeah, no, I mean, that's Which, like... Which, I mean, with cloud saving and all that, it seems that's the way that they're all trying to go. I feel like this this new generation of consoles, the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, they're finally starting to introduce some of these indie games on there. Yeah. And, like, these more game downloads. I know they they're kind of They're doing the, the free game every month for, I think, even yeah. PlayStation 4 oh, and the Xbox Gold users. Why You got, what... I got uh, Injustice uh, free. Yeah, Injustice for free. Me and for Vince December. got like worms and this weird like oh god, what the hell is it like Vanguard or I don't know something yeah. where you're a Viking and it was pissing me off like earlier. I played for like ten <laughs> minutes. There was another oh. game that was free in December, but I didn't. I, I wanted Injustice. I mean, you could download both, but Injustice was the one I was like more concerned about downloading Injustice than this other game. So it, it was um and and I enjoyed. I already beat Injustice, but it was a fun game, you know, for a fighter and. I, I, I'm a I'm a fan of, of superheroes, so it was a, a good free game for me to waste some time with. Yeah. So wait, what games did you buy on for the sale? for Steam? I was really I kind of went. I mean, because we 
my brother and I got for Christmas, we, we got – uh, fifty dollar. We got a steam card. Fifty dollar steam steam card was mm. was a present w- w- both of us had gotten. Uh, for me, I ended up spending most of my fifty. Da- I think spent thirty of it on uh, Divinity, Original Sin, which is a RPG or over like over the head sort of RPG. Like well, we think about game. like back in the day, sort of like. Um, I'm trying to think of what best describes it because it's sort of, I guess it would be like the old Divine Divinity games more so than anything, or or I want to say a little bit like Diablo 2, but it's not quite because it's not like a you know like a game that's all about loot. It's pretty heavily story driven too, so it it's um it's sort of like it's sort of like that though. Okay. So it, it's um it's I, been pretty good so far. I haven't played it a whole lot. Were you looking at buying um what was it Dark Souls two too or did, did I, you not I was buy thinking it? about it, but I decided to go with Divinity just because it was um I still have to beat the first Dark Souls. That game, it, 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 talk about games that make you angry. Dark Souls makes you want to rage and yeah, throw my, things and kill people. My roommate Kyle back at my university, he has Dark Souls. I think Dark Souls. Well, I know he has Dark Souls two. But he's, he's like, yeah, that's like a game that, I can't remember how he puts it, but he's just like, it's a game that you will just, you'll be walking, you'll see something, and you'll just turn around and go, nope. <laughs> yes, you will, because you're like, um, that's going to kill me. I don't want to lose what I have, because the way that it works in Dark Souls is uh, you get like, I forget what it is that you collect. It's like uh, are you collecting souls? It, it might be. <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm pretty sure. I honestly have no souls. idea. I'm right. Oh god! It, it, it's how do you throw a grenade, Vince? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What fight? game was that? That was Doom. Or no, no not Doom. Off fear. fear. It was Fear. fear. But uh. I swear I pressed the G button like a hundred times, and <laughs> Nick comes over. Oh, press okay. the G button. Oh, like ten grenades. Yeah. That's cool. This was oh, this is when you're still living down the street. Uh, but random story. Uh, Vince is playing Fear. What three? It was the original one. Which one? Or was it online? Um, I was playing. I think it was three. They were on sale. Yeah. So, so he was playing Fear, and he was like, "What the heck? How do you throw a grenade?" And I'm just like, "Is it G?" And if this is just like, no way, that's way too simple. Presses G. Oh, shit, it was right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, God, is that the only game that you bought? And did you buy any games on Steam for the sale, Vince, or no? Um, I bought a couple of No, I, you know, it was just one of those things where it, I, I totally just blanked out for the sale. And, yeah. you know, I, you know, I mean, you've been saving up for Disney. Yeah, I'm going you, know, to, you gotta have your souvenir money, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to Disney World and, like, four days so I had to save some money but yes th- which brings me up now because you guys are making me want to download a bunch of games I'm on the free game <laughs> section of Steam yeah. what, what you guys need to download and play with me is the Marvel Heroes game that's pretty fun it's, yeah. that's free to play too that's right? free to play yeah I, I haven't I, even seen it so oh it's awesome because you get to play as you know like Captain America or, or Spider-Man but what if I want to make Man. my own superhero <laughs> well then you play DC Universe Okay. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure DC Universe is where you no, can create but, um, your own character. Another game, I think it's the only other game that I remember <laughs> buying on the sale was A Story About My Uncle, which I'm pretty sure it was an indie game. It was relatively short, but the story I liked, it was it was really good. It, like I'm not going to give a lot away, but pretty much it's a story about your uncle. You're, I think you're telling your child a bedtime story because she wants to hear it. And you have this like hand suit thing and it, you, just, you see your right hand the entire game, pretty much. And you can, like, grapple with it, and you have to, like... It's like a puzzle game, almost. Like, portal, but you don't teleport and shit. You just use this grappling hook to, like, go from place to place, and you, like, meet people and other stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't think it was much. I mean, I got it on sale for, I think, a few bucks. It's probably, at most, $10. But definitely a game to check out is a story about my uncle. Yeah, That's the other I game got. I got on the Steam sale was uh, The Ship. I think those oh, were the two. That? Oh, yeah. Because I, I, I bought Divinity Original Sin, and then I bought, like, the... I don't know if it was the Season Pass or whatever, the DLC thing that they had for Divinity. So those were, like... That ended up being, like, $45 or something, I think. Because I have, like, 5 bucks left yeah. that I can still spend on something. Yeah, I'm, I think I still have, like, 30 bucks left to spend. <laughs> I mean, I'll, 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 I'll eventually spend it on something. I, I don't know what yet. Um, but, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of... Uh, have free to play games that are pretty good, but we never finish favorite games though. Not oh, shit, because you never, you never yeah. said, and I never said. Yeah, so Nick, you might as well, while Vince is looking yeah. up some things here. All right. Um, 
Well, I mean, a lot of people will say, like, oh, no, why that game? Or, like, oh, so cliche, because, like, it's considered one of the best games of all time, which a lot of people don't agree with. I'm, I'm not saying it is the best game ever, but definitely Legend of Zelda. Ocarina? Is... Yeah, but I, honestly, I don't know. Like, I mean, people don't like Twilight Princess, but that was the very first one that I've ever beaten. Was I, liked, uh, I don't Twilight see why Princess. people don't like that. that was a, I, I, mean, I didn't it. mind it. I liked it, but I have... So far, I think I've only played three, and it was Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, and uh, the new one, Skyward Sword, which I liked all three. I mean, me, I just remember, like I said forever ago, uh, watching Chris play it, and I'm just like, hey, that's a cool character. Like, main reason I think I thought he was cool is because Link had blonde hair. I had blonde hair. I'm like, this is sweet. I look like Link. I want to be Link. And so I yeah, just... Yeah, Nick's, Nick's a simple-minded one if you didn't. I, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> So, I mean, I just instantly, because I, I had never seen any character with blonde hair before. And so instantly, as soon as I saw Link, I'm like, I got that connection with him just because we looked similar. And so I became, like, obsessed with all the Legend of Zeldas and stuff like that, which, I mean, I think the most recent one I've been trying to play on, I mean, I have it on the uh, Wii download, was uh, Majora's Mask. Wow, that game's a lot harder than I thought it would oh, be. Oh, that is a very hard game. It especially... is so hard. I, I didn't... I, I remember watching you play it. I'm like, I don't remember there being time management. What is this? It, I only have so much time yeah. to do what? <laughs> and you know what? And, and I was so young when I played that through the first yeah, time. Yeah, you had, like, all the masks, like, instantly. <laughs> no, I literally... <laughs> you clicked the mic. <laughs> oh, did I? You, like, what, what smacked you... it. Sorry. <laughs> and, like, uh, you just, like, jumped. I literally just... The first uh, Legend of Zelda game I beat... I, I played them all. I never beat them all till three. Yeah, three years ago when I was living down the street, I finally beat Majora's Mask. Damn really? Man. And then Ocarina of Time. See, yeah, I finally beat them. The, the the bitch about Majora's Mask that disappointed me was like the 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 final boss battles in the Legend of Zelda are usually these, these epic battles. Majora's Mask was so anticlimactic. I don't even know what happens at <laughs> I mean, well, well, the way that it goes, too, I mean, it's probably harder. Spoilers. <laughs> Maybe. It, it, no, it, we're past the point of spoilers. The game's been out for years. Who knows? <laughs> Spoiler Maybe alerts some, are gone. Maybe there's some people that haven't played it. No, Who it knows? doesn't matter. Spoiler alert is gone after a certain amount of time. I forget how many months they say before spoiler <laughs> wow, alert Wow, I didn't know that they applied. go away after a certain amount of time. Yes, they do. So we're not spoiling anything. If you haven't played it by now, it's your own damn fault. But for Majora's Mask, I mean... If you got every mask, you get this awesome one to fight the final boss battle for. But it makes the boss battle so easy where it's sort of a letdown. Where it's like, man, this isn't even a challenge. So so it was really disappointing for the boss battle. But the game itself I loved so much because I liked the whole, you know, working against the clock too and everything. And I honestly didn't beat it when I was really young without an actual strategy guide in front of yep. me. Like, I went out and bought a strategy guide, and I don't go buy strategy guides for games. That one Before I did. Before it was just uh, GameFacts.com or whatever we'd always go to. But, um, oh, gosh, what the heck was I going to say? Oh, I totally forgot. Um, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, it's totally something about Legend of Zelda. I well, think. you were still going on about favorite games. Because yeah. Um, yeah, so, is that yeah, your all-time favorite? I mean, I, that's the thing. I don't even know if it's a favorite game. I just I love the series. I mean, I just really like them all as Vince looks at graphics cards or some shit. But uh, I do need a new one. That's what we're doing into. But, uh, well, before you finish here, um, we got Sam coming back on because he's actually going to have to be getting out of here. Yeah, I just wanted to come back on, sign off, say uh, thanks for having me, and uh, I will definitely come back and be on. I'm uh, heading out for some drinks and going to go get some free food from some girl that works at B-Dubs. Woo. That always works. Yeah, always. I, 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 who, which, which B-Dubs? And then everyone instantly is like, why uh, are they the not going? 59. Well, bring, bring back some. All right, I'll bring back some. <laughs> there we go. Give me that teriyaki, home. Yeah, get some hot honey, <laughs> honey barbecue. All right. I'll get the mushrooms. I know you're there. Oh, I, li I do like those. With the, it's Southwest Ranch, though. If it doesn't have that, it doesn't it's, matter. It's the oh, best. God. It's the absolute best. All right, guys. I'll see you. See you later. That that was Sam, uh, mine and Nick's brother, uh, being on our in our inaugural podcast. It was nice of him to come on. And uh, Inaugural. We're, we're Obama now. Thanks, Obama. <laughs>
No. But, um, yeah, Neither so, anyway, Legend of Zelda, definitely my favorite series of all time. Favorite game recently, like, once again, Vince said, because we've been playing it a lot, um, Titanfall. Just because, me, I've, I really like punching for some reason in games and kicking, and so you just run around and either kick people, or you, when you get in the giant mech, you go and punch people. <laughs> so I've just been pretty much getting in mechs, punching people, getting on the ground, kicking people, and repeat. That's pretty much what I've been doing. But um, other than that, um, honestly, favorite game of mine, once again, it's also a series, the Smash Brothers series. That is a Absolutely good one. Love Smash Bros. Speaking of which, buy today? Vince just bought it for the 3DS so he could play it on the plane ride to I literally, uh, Disney World. I literally, we went to, we went to uh, buy Titanfall, Titanfall for me. Nick, and I was like, I really, you know, I really need a 3DS game. I've had this 3DS. It was a hand-me-down yeah. from my nephew. And he's like, it was oh. Like what? A hand, it was a hand-me-up. I got it yeah. from my nephew. He got a new one. So yeah. And he's like, like, oh, what's the game I'm like, dude, get the Smash Brothers. He's like, what do you mean? It's not on it. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And we were just at a party when <laughs> yeah. someone was playing with us. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. I know no one has a Wii U, but if anyone ever got the Wii U, I'd bust out my 3DS and play on my yeah, Wii U. Yeah, one was yeah. playing with the 3DS as their controller, the and then somebody the Wii U controller is pretty interesting, especially because it you know with that screen. Oh, what so, the, the gamepad? Uh, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah the, gamepad's weird. The controller is a little bit more normal. Well, that but that's a controller. The game. No, no, is I know that, but I'm saying like there's an actual like separate controller. Yeah, but though. that's that's not what comes with it. The game. No, yeah, no. The game pad is very. And that's kind of cool with. though too, because like, the, yeah, it looks interesting to play with it, but it's also kind of awesome because you have a, your own personal little screen right yeah. in front of you, and you know I always shove my face into the screen anyways when I play video games, so that'd be perfect for me because yeah. then I'm not in anybody's way, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, no, it, it, it's um, that it's, it's an awesome also series. Be playing like if I wanted to watch TV, you could turn off the TV, you just play it on your gamepad, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, exactly. If somebody's doing something else, you can play on there. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it has its it has its merit. I mean, you know, it, it it's uh, it's been a start. Yeah, but um, anyway, back to me. So like I said, Legends of Zelda definitely fun. Me and my friends actually last year at school we did a uh, speed run through Ocarina of Time. And I think I came in, like, second or third, because, like, they had played through it, like, several times. This is my first time ever playing through. No idea what I was doing. I think I beat it in, like, shit, how long did it take me? Uh, I think it maybe took me, like, two days, but, I mean, it wasn't nonstop playing. So, I mean, it took me a little bit, but I'd say around two days is how long it took 48 me. 48 hours of gameplay time? No, not 48 hours of gameplay. I'm saying, like, within two days I was done. Oh, okay. Because, I mean, I played it a lot in between within those two days, but it still took me quite a bit of time. But, um, yeah, so Legend of Zelda, Smash Brothers, recently, not too recently, The Last of Us was a great game. I still need to play PlayStation that. 3. Absolutely loved it. I got it. I think I beat that in the first two days as well. If I get, like, games for me are kind of like a book, too. If I read a book, if I'm not done with it in two, three days, I'm not going to pick it up again. Same thing with the game, kind of. If it doesn't get me hooked right away, I'm pretty much like, okay, I'll come back a little bit later and play it, maybe. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the same way that going there, too. It's just, I can't, you know, if there's something that doesn't catch me right away, it's it's not going to catch me. Yeah, for me, I, it depends. Like, I can go back to a game, but it might be a while. I, it just really depends. What? Um... Front USB is four. Yeah, Where the so hell are those used? <laughs> I'm just looking at, yeah, game cases, looking at cases. The cases now. I need a new case for my computer so bad. Yeah. Um. You see, you gotta go full tower. I mean, that's what it is. Full and tower. you, you, you go on to. You Bit should Phoenix, check Newegg man. because that's where I got my tower, and my tower was only ninety nine. I mean, Damn. It, my tower was, and my tower's awesome. It's yeah, got it's like got a full six, tower. Yeah, you it's have got an like in six fans. I, was, I was looking at getting an in win not too They're long. They're really ago. nice. I mean, it was easy for me. There was plenty of stuff to to uh, that came with it to to make it really easy. And I liked having the, you know, the motherboard I have too has a connection for uh, the USB 3.0 in front, so that was pretty nice too. So I got all that, but. Yeah, fuck my computer. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, Nick's... You're... My, my computer's there's something messed up with it. If you yeah. want to fix my computer, just come find there's me. There's a there's a there, it's gotta be it's one. It's got guys. It's gotta be one of your parts, man. It's, I think it like, is too. Yeah. I really we, do. We, ever since I got it, like instantly, it wouldn't work. 
we went and replaced, like, turned in and got different, like, motherboard, graphics card, processor. We, we changed, like, everything. I got a bigger power supply. Nothing worked. But, uh, yeah, my, com my computer's just been problems one after the other. But other than that, I mean, I've been playing Destiny a little bit, and that's fun. I mean... I'm not too into it yet, but it is a fun game. I can see us getting... Oh, once yeah. Once I start playing, yeah. like, w we played a little bit that one day, but I had to go to bed. I was freaking... We had to be up really early, but... Yeah, I can see us getting really, really into that. I yeah. know a lot of people I know is, are starting to get into that game really, really good, so... Well, and I think it's one of those games, too, that sort of needed a little bit of time for them to really get more... Uh, into the you know more for the game. Hey, hey there's my case right there. <laughs> it is. But nice. you know it, it, they needed to to sort of um, add more content to the game online. Like yeah, it, it wasn't really a game that started off with everything to make the game great. It sort of needed to build sort yeah. of sort of how like some MMOs. That's just how it goes with some MMOs, anyways. But yeah. I think that was the whole thing for Destiny. But I haven't said for for my favorite games yeah. and stuff but before um, that that reminds me again um another favorite game dead rise the original one definitely second one they dumbed it down so much it wasn't even a challenge anymore so definitely dead rising and of course who doesn't love the left for dead games yeah th they are so much fun i mean i i there's so many series i got i got really hooked on to zombie genre They're... like all through high school that's <laughs> yeah. all i lived and breathed it that's it yeah, the the zombie genre is a lot of fun too. I mean, me personally, I, I've um, you know I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead. <laughs> We're all trying. sitting here I'm watching. I'm doing covert Nick art. Close ops. the door right now. I'm trying to like go like scoot over to the door without ripping all the headsets off the table. Yeah, my 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 uh, my uh, Sam left the door. My open. train of thought gets, I, I lose it he really gets quick. Diverted. Yeah, Sam, Sam doesn't know. How anyway, to close let's doors. go to Chris's favorite. But games. but yeah, my favorite games. I mean, when I think about it, it's tough for me to pick like one specific favorite game. Right, in, like I'm not I mean, saying I it's right said, now, like, three but or four. Like like my favorite series right uh, of all time probably has become Mass Effect. I really love those games. They're so much fun. That's I. They're so good of a story, and I just you know the whole having a choice. I I love that whole aspect along with the Knights of the Old Republic. Um, we played the actually the three of us, and if you go on the Nook, you'll hear or see uh, hear. That's what you're hearing <laughs> right now. Again. Because Vince is playing oh, wait, videos playing on it? his phone. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm uh, yeah. I was are you on the at Nook? Snapchat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but on our uh, yeah, on, on the, the Nook, we play the Old Republic, which is sort of a continuation of of some of the story from Knights of the Old Republic. Not that it's a specific, but there's just references. Like, um, there, there's different characters from Knights of the Old Republic yeah, that make... I mean, make... they go to... Um... Well, Bastila is in... Is, is If you're a Jedi, she's... You, you end up getting a... Uh, it's like a Datacron or something that has her... Yeah, I mean, they like... have Revan in it, the Revanites and all that shit. Right, exactly. So there's a lot of different... Um, references to Knights of the Old Republic and that was one of my favorite series as well. Really those sort of series I, I think they're both Bioware games too actually yeah, now yeah, that yeah. I think about it. Those sort of games have always been like my favorites where you are making moral choices or different sort of yeah, choices and things like that. But but they're RPG games and obviously the Final Fantasies, I talked about them earlier, are another one that have always been one of my favorite series. And Metal Gear Solid is is another one. I've always just I, I I've I, I found Metal Gear Solid a little bit later once Metal Gear Solid 2 came out, but I fell in love with the games, played them all now, and, and, and beaten them all. And they're just, I, I've always, I've just, I've become a huge fan of them. And, um, I mean, those are, I mean, and obviously some of the ones that you mm, said, yeah. Legend of Zelda, obviously. Another is, recent one I forgot, but we talked about Starbound. That's honestly one of my favorite games recently because I've been playing the hell yes, out of it. <laughs> same, I mean, same here. The only problem is, is now that we've gotten to the point where there's nothing else to do yeah. in the beta, we, we kind of, there's yeah, we killed no it. Point. Yeah, we kind of <laughs> killed it for winter, ourselves. Though. <laughs> right, not until they get another huge update <laughs> yep. will we end up playing it again, probably. Yep. But it, that was a lot of fun that I was playing right now. And, I, I mean, really for games right now, I, I kind of I, mean, I, I haven't been playing a whole lot lately just because I haven't had a whole lot of time. 
quick quick side note I know you're talking about you know uh, choosing your destiny and stuff when you guys get like I know in Star all the Star Wars games when you can go like you know dark you do, yeah if you can go oh, dark yeah. or like what what do you guys have like a, a favorite I, we actually me and Nick just well, talked about this like the other day actually what like being Sith yeah being Sith and oh, being yeah. Jedi I, I'll, I'll start I, I would I would want to be somewhere in the middle like I, I don't want to I don't want to listen to anyone. I want to be my own like rogue dark Jedi, if you want to call it too. Yeah. I think that'd be I mean, the me, best way to go. I know me and Vince are just in love with it, just because it's awesome. Uh, the Sith Code. Yeah, yeah. Sith Code is just awesome. You know, the if Sith you don't Code's know it, awesome. we'll probably recite it at the end for a sign off. Who knows? But um, me, yeah, I, me and Vince were kind of the same. I like I said. I mean, I'd probably start off as a Jedi. And then I would I would just get to the point where I'm like, I don't understand why this, why that. I'd get to the point where I'm like, well, I want to have kids. I'm not going to go evil, but I'm not going to be like, all right, I'm going to be strictly good. I'd pretty much be, I think they call it a dark Jedi. Not like where you're an evil dick, but look, pretty much where you're a Jedi, but you kind of go with your own flow. Look, my D needs some V. Yeah. I'm not I mean, like, Jedi what, we said, anymore. Uh, pr- pretty much we, we'd be like, what, we said we'd be like bounty hunters that use the force and have a lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think... Technically, I think it's like a dark Jedi would. would yeah, I think call that's it. technically the term because like dark Jedi's aren't Sith, but they're yeah, not yeah. Jedi's. They're pretty much like Jedi's that like got kicked out or something. You'd be like, um, what was the what was the games with the with the, the one Jedi? Uh, the was, Force Unleashed. Was no, that? it wasn't the Force no. Unleashed. Really, it was. Um, it's like Jedi. Was what? it Jedi Outcast or what yeah, was it called? Yeah, I think it was Jedi Outcast. I'm pretty was. Sure. Was, was that what it was? Up, yeah. I'm be- pretty sure. There's so many like Star Wars games. I'm pretty sure it's Jedi Outcast. Let's go favorite Star Wars game while we're at it. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with. Nice the Old Republic, easy. Yeah, I I'm, and and the second one. I'm gonna go back a little. I think it was on either the, I want to say we I used to play it on the Dreamcast. It was the, uh, Jedi Power Battles. Right one. Uh, I remember playing that. You know, I think it was right when uh, the first you know, the episode one came out and, and there's like a final, final battle where you're uh you know you do the Darth Maul battle and you can play two players so me and my that's brother nuts. would oh wait that game was great <laughs> just for the final battle but that was, that was a good game yeah. I um, um Star Wars game definitely the new online Star Wars yeah. uh, Old Republic yeah but then who didn't love the arcade pod racing and uh like what was it called Jedi Academy or something like that where you're like yeah. actually like yeah. Luke fighting Darth Vader and you would like block and attack and stuff like that but um that and just because it was always fun doing the space battles for me, uh, Battlefront. I love Battlefront. Battlefront, I can't. Battlefront, Battlefront, Battlefront 2. Battlefront. Well, yeah, Battlefront 2, of course. Uh, but Battlefront 1. 1 had Battlefront such good Battlefront 1 maps. was, yeah, it did. I, they but were both really good. Definitely Battlefront. And I don't know when the hell they're – I think they're still making it, Battlefront 3. I don't – I I mean, yeah, the, the I last so. – I, the la- I, it's so confusing because some people say they're not, that they I, are. I mean, I know I'm, there's a trailer for it, but I don't know if they pushed it back or if they stopped budget for it. Well, what I think happened is, and we can... Because the movie? No, like, uh, t- it was supposed to be released by someone, and then someone else took over. Like, I think, I don't know if it was either supposed to be an EA game, and then DICE took over, or it was supposed to be a DICE game, and then EA took over. One of those two, like, because I, I know, like, well, they completely stopped making it, and then someone else started making it. Well, yeah, that was that was a while ago. They they were originally going to have battle. Well, now it's just going to be Star Wars Battlefront. You know, sort of like a reboot, I yeah, guess it is almost. Yeah. It, battlefront three, that game actually w- was being made, and then they stopped because the whole. That's when I think uh, is that when w- Disney got sold or Disney bought Star Wars? No, that was before when it was like the whole Lucas Arts was like just gone, sort of. Like they they were just stopping a lot of their video game stuff, and then they kind of just sold everything off. Battlefront being one of them, which EA got its hands on, which I, I'm okay with that actually. I think, but the uh, it's come out now that Battlefront will be coming out at the uh, the holidays of 2015, so yeah, it's going to kind of coincide with the uh, release of the movie, the movie The Force Awakens. So, so that's sort of uh, where things are going for it, which, yeah, that's that's fine with me. It, you know, it'd be. Aw- I mean, I'm excited. I was really excited to see one on PS3 or Xbox 360, but now we skip a whole 
um, generation. generation, so it's going to look awesome compared to Battlefront 2. Yeah. So I'm, I'm ex just excited to have another Battlefront game because they were so much fun. Yeah. You also gotta love the Lego Star Wars, though. Those are just fun. I like yeah, all the Lego games. Fun. I can. I, I, for fun. some reason, I, mean, I like, get they're not those. very complex. They're no. fun. They have a bit of humor to them. They're they're great. They're good. <laughs> for games. me, though, the top still is gonna be the Knights of the Old Republic games. I, it's unfortunate that that Knights of the Old, the second one was kind of rushed. But if you play on the computer version, there's actually a very good um, mod that they have out there that kind of takes all the material that they didn't get to finish with and kind of finishes most of it and uh it, it's it's just awesome to have that mod because there's like parts of the story that you didn't quite get to hear or use that you do if if you play the mod so uh this, because the second game just was so big it was so awesome with how they were with where they were going with it they just didn't get to because it was rushed they didn't get to kind of finish it the way that it was meant to be finished yeah my uh my friends at school they said um if you've played the games dark raven the book completes it pretty much yeah yeah and you gotta start me yeah and, me and i haven't have read reading. that one yet i haven't read it but i've read the darth bane series which i absolutely love people say they don't like it as much as raven but i haven't read raven yet so and, and i believe... absolutely love darth bane though it was sweet the, the beauty, too, of, of uh, what I liked about Knights of the Old Republic is, yeah, you in the first one you were Revan, but you could make Revan however you wanted. You could have made you, – you could make it where Revan was a brutal person even after the whole mind wipe. Or you could be, you know, this great Jedi or whatever it is you want to do. Or if you wanted to be that neutral, you know, yeah. Jedi or, or almost Sith – you could do that too. It, it was whatever you really wanted to do with it, and you could make the story however you want. And that was what I loved about it, and because I, I I play I play all of those games the same way. Which I also need to play Dragon Age Inquisition. That's like that's like my for PlayStation Four. That's like the game I'm gonna probably get is, is Inquisition. Yeah, I've been looking. First. I've been looking to get that too. It's I've been hearing yeah. good things about it. Well, it's another game that I've say, just that played the through the series. One, that's the third. Because I know, I, say, I mean, I play a little bit of Dragon Age when we first got Origins, it for right? Whatever it was, and then I know there was a second one, and then it's now Inquis eh, Inquisition or whatever. Yeah, Inquisition's the newest one. Now I'm curious to see the second one. Felt like only a part of what it could have. Have you I, played the second? I I beaten the second. Oh, I beaten the first I didn't and even the know second. You had it. Yeah, and it just wasn't. It didn't feel like a complete game to me. I felt like there was just, you know there was more to it than what there needed to be and and hopefully inquisition sort of finishes that off for me with, with that feeling of incompleteness but that was um i really like those games too and i think those are bioware games again probably <laughs> no I, yeah bioware makes them they they, they, they that's their stuff. their genre is their genre of games that they make is exactly what i play basically i mean those are the sort of games that i like so, so for me, that's why I'm, I, I I play so many Bioware games is because that's what they they, they make basically just all RPGs of that nature. No, yeah, that's true. I think that's you know I haven't really yeah. Speaking of games, I like to play me. It just I remember my first time playing. Oh, my bad, my mic moved. <laughs> um, I remember my first time playing Minecraft. Me, yeah, like that's what got me definitely hooked on like sandbox survival and exploration games, just because like. If you, your first time, anyone that's ever played it, your first time ever playing that game, you have no idea what you're doing. Which game? No idea. Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft. No idea yeah. what you're doing, no idea what you're looking for. You're just exploring, trying to find stuff. And when you find something, you're like, whoa, what is this? And, like, no idea what the hell a creeper was. Killed me, like, ten times before, always from behind. And then finally I see, I'm like, oh, what are you? And I walk up to it and it explodes. But that's definitely what got me hooked on, like, survival, sandbox, exploration games. And recently, all three of us... What the hell was that? That was Vince touching his microphone. Oh. <laughs> I, I have, that freaked me uh, out. Am I your ghost? I my microphone, no. But, um... This chair's not as comfortable as I thought it was going <laughs> to be at one point. But, uh, we, we, us three, we just went and saw, um, Interstellar. And that game got me back into, well, got us kind of back into Starbound. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that game, the whole or, space sort of thing. Yeah, that's I mean, why I love Mass Effect too, because yeah. it's this whole expansive, you know, different worlds. It kind of got scaled down a little bit in the second and third with the exploration part, but that's because that's where the story took it. The first one was more uh, about the exploration sort of aspect of things. Yeah, but definitely that movie. Like, I mean, uh, 
some people say it wasn't good. Some people say it was. I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was good. I, I, I really like the exploration part of it, and it's just interesting to see how they did it and stuff like that. Because, I mean, who the hell knows what's out there. But uh, it was just, it was cool to me. Yeah, I definitely no, like, I had, I, like all that. The one you guys asked me if you if I wanted to go see, I really didn't even have, you know, I was like, eh. I didn't really even want to see it, and I didn't have high hopes for it, but I'm glad I did because it was actually a really good movie. So. And it makes you think, too. That's what I like about it. It's not a movie that just, oh, you know, it's not like, I, I mean, I love Guardians of the Galaxy, but Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, you're not thinking hard about things that happened in that movie. Yeah. You, it's pretty straightforward. Interstellar isn't straightforward. No, it's, I mean, just, I mean, because a lot of it, like, relative, eh, ah, relativity. Relativity? Yes, relativity. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, like, mind-boggling to think about that, that, like, a minute here can be 100 years somewhere else or vice versa And we don't, whatever, you know, and, and like, we don't know anything ooh. about that either, yeah. if that's even true or what, because yeah. you've never been to another place yeah, we've to never, know. We haven't been parked on the outside of a black hole yet. Yeah, like, right, we don't exactly. Know. I mean, if you guys know who Ilya Brzgalov is, one of my favorite quotes that the crazy goalie says, the, the universe, it's so humongous big. You guys don't even know. <laughs> that's just, it makes me laugh. Space yeah. exploration, man. It, it's some crazy stuff. Um, as uh, yeah, I think I covered. I, I never said really current games that I was playing because yeah. we you know we 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 go off onto tangents and oh, and that's yeah. to be expected. It's a it's we have decided that why. that this podcast we we never decided on an official amount of time. I think it'll probably end up being around two two and a half hours. Yeah, something like that. Is where we'll probably end up having it go, but. When you look at it for for like for games that I'm playing right now or or, or my favorite games that are cur- like current games, I mean I really don't have one right now because I've kind of been in a lull for gaming. But I I'd have to say the games that I've been playing recently was like Dark Souls because that that game is just supremely hard. It just makes me angry, but I love it because I love games that are difficult. So that one is one that I really kind of fell in love with. But sometimes that game you got to take a break from it because you um you'll uh you'll want to throw the controller at the TV when you're playing. So so it it, it, it is a, a game that you have to to walk away from sometimes. That one I I I've been enjoying quite a bit and. Now, I had bought Divinity, so I've played a little bit of it so far. I haven't delved into it too much, but that's one I've been starting to play, and I, I've liked it so far. It's interesting to have, like, two main characters. Like, Divinity, yeah. I, I, I if no I remember what right. I is at all. I mean, didn't you just talk about it earlier? Yeah, I talked about it earlier. I but still, I haven't seen anything about it. Like, Well, I, just... I think it was a game, too, that was actually a Kickstarter game, too, to start off. So, it, it's... Um, because it was an old series that sort of came back, but it's um, it's kind of cool because they have like two main characters. So when you start off the game, you're not just naming one character; you're naming two characters, and these are the two main: a male and a female. So I kind of like that aspect, and you interact with the other character. But you, I myself, decide what this character says to the other character, what they say back. Oh wow! So that's kind of cool. So you're having a conversation with yourself? Sort of. What it, the fuck? <laughs> but it's cool. It, it's cool. I mean, you can have somebody... What's up, bitch? Want to have sex? Hell yeah! <laughs> but you can also have somebody else play as that other character, too, if you want. You, you can have yeah. somebody else do the dialogue. It, it's just... It's a different aspect of, like, the... The yeah, conversation. God, a lot more games I remember though. Like yeah, I, didn't I was you, just looking. I was like, I didn't know you had DLC Quest or um, what is it like Dust or whatever the hell? It was yeah, called. I have Dust too. Yeah. I, I haven't played. I said we were playing Don't Starve. That's another good, fun game. Dust, I like Dust, and 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 well, DLC Quest I've almost beaten, but Dust is one that I've I, I've kind of I haven't played yet. Although I, I don't know if that's the first game and it's in in the line for Dust because no, I think there's just. I think it's just called Dust. The Maybe moon. there isn't another one. I, there, there was a, a series that I was gonna start oh, that, playing. Yeah, two to the moon. Ah, to the moon, which to I, the moon, I was I, gonna get. That's I not played bad. it yet. That's that's a good like story driven. Well, yeah. Thing. I mean, I, I like, like games, games like that. So same here. That's why I bought The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead season two. Yeah, I still have to play those too. Because Telltale Games, the, the, they're very story driven, and, and we were watching. Um, we were watching a YouTube uh, commenter that Nick likes a lot named Critical. Oh yeah, and he was playing. He wasn't. Pl- he was playing a different Telltale game. It was um, 
What, it, whatever uh, the one with the, the wolf, wolf inside us or whatever. The wolf. No, some with the bad. It, yeah, yeah, something no, with the big bad wolf. I can't remember the name of it yeah. though. The Wolf Among Us. Is yeah, that I think one? That might be yeah, it. that's out on Xbox. I was looking Xbox One. I was looking that. As a yeah, game it's I... definitely a Wolf Among Us. Yeah. yeah. I, I definitely want to play that. Yeah, that game looks pretty good. Because, I, like I said, those are the sort of games that I that I like. Those really story driven and yeah, like and decision. Uh, heavy rain. Heavy rain. I liked. Uh, I, I had the worst fucking ending for that. I had. Oh my I had God. a good. I had a really good ending for that like, one. Like, I didn't click restart in time, and the. Oh God! If you guys even know what this game is, pretty much a really important character died way too soon, <laughs> and yeah, it fucked up my story. <laughs> Well, it is my kid drowned. <laughs> it the 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 um the game does a good job too, really, of hiding what happens. Who, and what stuff. who who's doing everything? Yeah, I mean, I did figure it out before oh, yeah. then. I mean, I, yeah, but it did a good job of get, making it take time for me to figure out which person was the uh, the yeah. killer. So I, I do give that game some credit because that that's not easy to do. But um, that that's sort of been a, 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 a sort of a game changer too. That game was changing how how some of the stories go with some of the different things. Yeah. So yeah, no, it it, it see we're all, we're gonna be all over the place probably for all our podcasts. And I oh, have yeah. no problem at all with that because that's exactly how we are. But it's been fun talking about some of these games and um, it gets yeah. me excited to play some games again because. You know, sometimes when you're gaming, you can kind of you get into a lull where you you forget why you want a game or or yeah. you, you're busy doing something, so you don't um, have that drive to do it. But then, you know, you conversations hear something about a game or something like that, right? Conver- or, or or conversations like this make you want to play it again. Yeah. No, yeah, I really uh, just us talking this whole time. I really haven't had a good amount of time to even immerse myself. In, in a, a game. game, I think coming up like next time I get a few days off, I'm just gonna f- completely just couch potato it for a few days. It's definitely, definitely well deserved. Yes, it definitely for you, especially. I mean, I know you're going to Florida, but who says you can't couch potato? Well, you, because you're not gonna be couch potatoing in Florida, that's for sure. Yeah. No. Uh, especially at Disney World. Um, I mean, we, we we've talked a lot about good, you know, games that we like and games that we're playing. Uh, we haven't really talked about good games that are bad, though. Yeah. That, like, people love the game, but it's really bad. For me, I have, and, and some people may not like the game that I'm going to say. Um, you want to start us off, though? But I'll start us off with that. And not, and I love Halo, so don't get me wrong here, but when you look at the 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 latest Halos. Oh, well, I mean, do you see that took over? <laughs> right. That what, that's three four three studios. Or the hell they're called? Yeah. yeah that yeah. that's one good game. Good job, that guys. Bad yeah. Bump on the shoulder, or not. Oh, yikes. And, and and that's and it's to me it's a little sad because I love. I say Vince, Halo have, and Halo two and Vince, Halo three even. Vince has the what Halo five beta right and. What were your first impressions of it? What were the oh, like exact words you told me? It, it's turning into. Call of Duty, it's so terrible that, okay, if you guys haven't played the Halo 5 multiplayer beta, I mean, you're not missing too much if you've played Call of Duty, it is. The freaking map tells you when the power weapons are going to respawn, and like no, where they are. That. That's like half the strategy and, you know, like the fun. So pretty much everyone just camps by power weapons and, you know, it, Whoever controls the power weapons wins the map, which is what Halo usually is about. But at least there's more of a you know a surprise to yeah, when it gets taken. Yeah, surprise to when it gets gone, taken. Yeah, it's, respawns. It's terrible, but I, I I mean I I like Halo, but it's yeah sometimes that game kind of just worn out of welcome. I think they should should have Halo Four. They just should have stopped to be honest. Yeah, so. I mean honestly, my last enjoyable Halo experience probably with agree. Well, he's not here anymore, but Sam Halo Three. Definitely, because I mean, I think that was the last time Bungie was in charge, unless know. it was ODST or like Halo Reach. But that was the last actual story I enjoyed for Halo. Because I mean, I played Halo Four. Me and you played Halo Four, Vince. Yeah, I think yeah. we played it all the way through. I don't even think I played and, Halo. Like, 4. I mean, it was just really weird. It's just like, okay, Cortana's going nuts because she's an AI and she's like trying to correct herself or something weird like that. Yeah, and, I haven't even played Halo. Like, 4. there's like the weird like ghosty goblin things. I don't know what the hell they're called, but there's like the weird things in there and just 
it just got way too much for me. I mean, Halo 3 at the end of it, it's pretty much like him. He did what he was... I can't even remember what the hell happens in Halo 3. Shit, it's been so long. <laughs> Point is, I, I remember the ending where he pretty much just jumps the Warthog into the ship. They leave. You learn his name. And then he goes into hyper, like, native... Whatever. He goes into, like, the sleep thing because he knows he's not going to be rescued in, like, forever. I mean, like, how do you end it any better than that? Like, him just, like, going to sleep until he's needed again? Then, oh, instantly. Okay, fine. I'm back. Right, it was, uh, no oh, time had back again. Don't worry, we found me. Yeah, I'm back, home, boys. What it was. Like, and, it would have like, been cool. Now, if if, if they, they made, did a reboot, like years yeah, on, I even, think it would have been sweet. <laughs> not even a reboot, but just <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, you could do the game and continue it if you want, if that's what they really wanted to do. But oh, you woke up after like a year or yeah. something. That I don't remember how much time had passed. But it just. But it wasn't a lot, I right? Didn't like it. I didn't like the way it was done. That was a little disappointing because that left it like very open ended. Where like it could be fifty years from when he was last, uh, you know, awakened yeah. when when he wakes up or or something. Or, can we all agree that the only reason anyone is playing Halo is because I can't remember if they ever revealed it yet, but we all just want to know what the fuck his face looks like. That was, like, the big thing for Halo 4. Like, dude, what? They reveal his face at the end of Halo 4. How do you know? It's not even out yet. I heard this rumor. And then you, like, get it and you play it. I remember my friends, like, saying, if you beat it on Legendary, they reveal, like, this much of his face. It's awesome. It's, like, like the chin down or some shit. <laughs> I'm just like, are you kidding me? Did they really? It's some stupid uh... like that. Like, if you play it on normal, they, like... Because, like, at the end, it's, like, him getting his armor off because he's retiring, which I call bullshit because Halo 5. But it's, like... Him, like, getting his armor off, finally, and it, like, shows them removing the helmet, and then as soon as they start removing it on normal, I guess it's, like, it goes to, like, a blank screen. Like, it's, like, credits roll something, and then if you beat it on Legendary, they, like, show, like, it move up, and then it's gone. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Just show Our his face. I see his chin. <laughs> like, everyone before, it was his name. That's the only reason every, anyone was playing, well, not anyone, but I, I, Halo 3, like, oh, they're going to reveal his name. What's his name? John. <laughs> oh. <laughs> John okay, thank God. Name. I know his name. Now I have to see his face. Next, what's his shoe size? His dick size? Come on. Let's go, guys. Give us the details. Well, I, I can kind of get the, the seeing a face because you want to yeah, put well, a... You want to put a face yeah. in it. But that's what to I also like about it because you just... The mystery. That's, yeah, that's you great. create your own face for who he is. Yeah, which is, but I, I kind of like when you do get to see the face because yeah. it kind of... it. There's like a... That's... A vindication sort of thing, I guess. I, I don't, don't even want him to have a face. I don't either. <laughs> That's like, like I don't want to see his face. Kind of like me with Link. He shouldn't have a voice. He doesn't no. have. Exactly. A voice. So if they ever make a game where Link has a voice, it's gonna be ruined for me. Well, like, they, it's they not won't gonna ever. be the same. They How won't. do you know? <laughs> because the 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 creators of the Legend of Zelda wouldn't let that happen. You never know. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Trust me. It's not going to. So wait, I know our topic now. Are we talking about like games? Good that... games that were bad. So, so like he but said, before, Halo. Before well, we get he... off that, I wanted to say that made me think of another character who I want to see his face. Kakashi from Naruto. I want to know what that bastard looks like uh, under his I don't, his I don't his know little who that face. is. Uh, I don't watch. <laughs> me and Vince are lost. Like, I watched some anime, anyway. but I'm not, not too far up on the anime lane. Uh, I was gonna, so are we talking about like games that were good at one point and went bad? Or games that people consider good, like oh, that were amazing, oh, but are awful. Like me, it would be Call of Duties. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I lost with the Call, Call of Duties Duty. at, like, I think the last one I played, really played online or anything, was like Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare. I think it was the, the original first Modern, Modern Warfare. Warfare was awesome, though. Yeah. I mean, like, I like the stories in them, but, like, to me, it's the same story over and over. It's. You're with the squad. You're doing something. Someone dies or gets left behind, and he becomes evil. I think they've done that in, like, three or four of them now. Yeah, no. Like, oh, some of them, yeah, sure, you're just really. fighting the enemy. But, oh, what's this? What a twist. Your best friend is now evil. <laughs> Wait, Shoot is him. that what happens in the new one, too? I don't know. Because there's because... the one guy getting, like, pushed off. You lose your arm. Like, I'm betting, like, my whole bet there was, like, he's alive and he's evil now. Just because I know the one time, like, in, like, I think it was, like, Black Ops or some shit, you're, like, friend gets like kidnapped lost i don't know and he becomes like brainwashed he's trying to kill you the entire <laughs> time i'm like fuck this <laughs> uh, i'm gonna say a game that uh, so many people love freaking borderlands man oh, I, I love those games i hate See, borderlands i like the first borderlands no I haven't played the second one it's yeah the first second one i like. like the it's a lot like the first one i that's what i've been told like i mean what the hell so you would like it, it no because it's it's the story's different, though. Yeah, I was so excited to play. Story. I was so excited to play Borderlands. It's not a bad game, but 
I hate games where you have to go someplace back and forth, go back, back and forth. forth back forth. I was like, I did hate that. I was like, if I have to go to your fucking bunker one more fucking time, I'm yeah. done. I will say that game though online. Is Wait, a bit but better. do you like Legend of Zelda? It, I mean, yeah, yeah. but that's kind of you know. But that's the same thing. You go back and forth. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. But that's a more exciting. I feel like <laughs> in Borderlands, you're going to kill something and well, then you come back and you kill something. <laughs> what are you doing in, in, in stop hitting your microphone because I'm going to kill you <laughs> if you do it again. Please, seriously. You hear mine? You're, you're not smacking Because you're not it hitting like it hard. Stop, stop, it though, please. <laughs> I, there's not going to be any more podcasts because I'm going to murder these two, so. Yeah. But. I, I will I say, do. I did like Borderlands playing online. It's me and he'll be on here too. Michael Terrace, my best friend I've known my entire life across the street. Me and him, we played Borderlands on Xbox 360 online together for the longest time. And then we just randomly stopped. I think it's because I went to college. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Damn but, college. <laughs> Damn your college. I ruined my life. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the online aspect of that. And when we would drive, that, that was. Playing with someone else online definitely made it fun. Traveling any, from one place to the other. For, yeah. For me, I think any game. I mean, any game experience. Let's unless you're like a weird loner creep. Yeah. When you're playing with someone, it just makes it ten times more intriguing. I know. It, if it's a game that you can play with. Me someone. and you. Yeah. I mean, it happened with us with uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Mm-hmm. Me and you were playing it. And we were playing online together, but we're like, this isn't really fun. Yeah. I mean, like two players at first, it was great and it was fun, but then uh, it just it, it hit the slope and it sucked. And we got Chris in, three people, made it a little bit more interesting. That was a lot of fun, just because, like, the three of us, because we were all different, I think we are all different classes, too, or something, or, like, different well, paths. Well, me and Chris were under, like, the same, well, me, me and Vince were under the same tier. You were, like, I was the assassin. Yeah, you were a Sith assassin, I was a Sith juggernaut, you were a Sith, what, marauder, or whatever the hell it's called. Right, yeah, yeah, so, so, so at least different. you guys you guys were the same, but you were different. Yeah. And then we actually ended up... We, I don't even remember how we ended up like getting up with this guy, but we oh, met yeah. some guy on there, and he was playing with <laughs> I us. I think it was pretty much me and Vince had a dance party on yeah, the floor. Yeah, <laughs> and some guy just joined us. And, yeah, this uh, guy joined us, cool. and we ended up started playing with him, and he was like, he completed. He was giving us shit. <laughs> yeah, he was like really good, and he was he like completed our little group that we had for a while. He was too. a healer. <laughs> we well, didn't have a healer. He was, like, but yeah, he wasn't just a healer, but he was like the like the the the, the muscle. <laughs> no, he was like the force user. Oh yeah. Like, cause I was like, I was right? like the dam, yeah. I was the damage dealer. You two were the tanks. Well, no, no, I was the tank. Vince was a damage dealer. You were a damage dealer slash uh, force user. And then, that but I guy was all was, damage. Yeah, then that guy was straight up healing and force using. Yeah, he was like, yeah, he wasn't getting in close. He was doing everything from afar. Oh, yeah, like he, you know, he used lightning. Yeah, and all this other shit. Yeah, so so it was like we had this like good balance when we had four people. We need to we need to get like Mike Lynn or somebody to be our fourth because uh, when you that I mean, game that's like, is why don't we do Guild Wars too? I mean, we all have that. We played that, but God, why don't we do that? Game? I don't know because I'm almost level eighty too. I'm almost oh, a level God. cap in that game. I mean, it's only like oh, level seven. Yeah, I'm like level seven. <laughs> but you know what? That's a game though. You level up very fast. Yeah. So if, if you if you like. Just play for that's enough that time, does you'll take get forever. there. Star Wars is oh god, leveling, the leveling up. up does take, <laughs> but that's because they want. But that's also because they leveling is they, and, well. They want you to subscribe too. Oh, they, yeah. If you if you have a subscription, you level up a bit faster. Oh, I believe it, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna pay for it. I'll I'll pay a little bit and be a preferred. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be preferred, the sprint but before not level five or whatever. <laughs> Vince is like, no, but I'll pay nothing. I'll pay nothing for that. I remember when you guys were sprinting around. I'm like, sorry guys, um, I gotta I'm walk walking. around here. <laughs> no, I remember I like anything. I paid like five bucks for I don't know what. I just something. Yeah, no, man. It, no, I, I paid like fifteen dollars or something. I don't like remember. It wasn't me. a whole lot, but. This makes me think, though, with what we were talking about earlier, Give not the, not the, the man. Star Wars, <laughs> but but. But the the you know the games that we said good that were bad we said Halo and, and Call of Duty that can almost be considered like games you expect somebody who's a douche to play like yeah. douchebag games which I mean it, Those it's two bad to very... say that because like I don't really like to to make like stereotypes for things Call of Duty that's but like there the are some people I that do I absolutely hate when people say yeah I play COD. Are you really calling it COD? Like, Jesus Christ, say Call of Duty. Just I don't know, I like to call it LOL. I, I like to say LOL for League of Legends. No, just, just COD just sounds really douchey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I play COD, man. I bet you suck. I bet you didn't even prestige. Buh. 
Well, no, I What's feel up, like... What's up, man? Look I, at my gamer tag. It's swag. I feel like a lot of people who uh, play Call of Duty just play Call of Duty, and that's what yeah. is annoying about it. I mean, I I don't know. I, Halo, I, a little bit, like, kind of douchey, but definitely, I absolutely, like, that's where douches ruin the game for me. Like, not to be mean and, like, I, may, I might be a douche to some people. I don't know. But I, that, that game just... Modern Warfare is definitely where like I saw it become really douchey, and I'm just like I'm done. I same with hey, same with Halo Three, but it's more that's of a why. social aspect that's ruining it for yeah. you than the actual gameplay. Oh like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like playing online, I just I didn't like it. I didn't I, like I, it anymore. Another game that sort of has that aspect for me, and it's disappointing because I love the game, is League of Legends. I mean, you'll get people that'll get so mad at That's someone. why I can't play anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like, me and Vince, we were screwing around that one time. The guy was so mad. He was trying oh to boot gosh. us. Oh, my God. He was so mad at you guys. The three of us were on this team with, yeah. his, what is it, five people, I think, are on yeah, the team, right? Yeah, five people. So, so there was the three of us plus two others. The other guy didn't oh, say The guy's any. like, dude, what? why are you complaining or something? I don't know. I don't remember what the other we guy was We weren't even doing that bad. Guy. We weren't. And we were <laughs> fucking around the whole game. was so mad at Vince and Nick and – because they like died once. They were or twice. horrible. Like they're at level caps. Me and Vince are new. We're like we don't know what we're doing. If Vince is playing as Ash. I'm playing as like someone else who's new. Like Ash is like the person you learn to play with in the tutorial. Like no shit, we suck. We're playing with the only people we can play with. Right? Because you actually. Have <laughs> I don't to, know who she is. I don't know who I'm playing with. Like uh. right. I mean, it, and it is a game that takes time, and you have to really learn what what your characters. What, yeah, what, what you should buy, what they can and can't do. I mean, because, like, the, the recommended stuff isn't really exactly perfect for, for some of the builds that you should be trying to do. And also, if you don't have people who want to work with you like this guy was, it doesn't matter anyway. And it's like, you know, nobody's – not everybody is, like, the greatest ever at League of Legends. Yeah. So it, it really does turn people off to the game, and it sucks because – Look at, like, how popular of a game it is, too. Yeah. I mean, that's where my roommate Kyle would argue with you, though, and say Dota is so much better. I do love, yeah, I, I do haven't love played, Dota. I played Dota a few times, and I will say it was a lot less complicated because... I enjoy League, though. I, I just, there's, I don't know, I just like playing League. Dota's different. I still like it. I yeah. just don't know it. I mean, pretty much the way, because, I mean, I ended up, like, watching quite a bit on it. The way I think Kyle put it or something was... League of Legends is a pay-to-win Dota. Cause nah, it's not a pay-to-win, though. It kind of is, though, because if you pay money and you buy all those runes and stuff, you can make your guy so much stronger, but you can't so much you... more, but you can pay money and then buy No, you em. can't buy the runes by paying. You have to play to, in order to get the runes. No, but there's some that you can use those certain credits for or whatever. No. Well, have you, have, you, guys, have no. you guys played Yeah, Tor He's wrong. He's wrong. Know, the point is, though, with the ruins, though, the ruins, like, if you have so many of that ruin, though, you can be, like, unstoppable. No, and in you Dota, can't. I don't think there's, like, you know what I mean. It makes it easier. And then there's, I guess, in Dota, like, it doesn't have any of that. And it's just, you're this person, they have this stats, go. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> Instead like of, oh, I have this guy, but I have this perks because I'm using this sheet of my runes. Like, to me, it kind of gives it a little bit of an uneven edge if you know what you're doing compared to if you don't. So, I don't know. But the it's runes that. just add more strategy because just because you have a certain rune set on, there's a counter to that. And there's a character who I counters mean, your character. I mean, that's assuming the person knows. If I don't know what the hell I'm doing, like, oh, this guy's got amazing runes. I yeah, don't you have okay, to. But I have seven. Huh? What do but, I do? But that's the whole thing is, is that's why they have the different, you know, the different ranks and everything because there are people who don't know and there's those that do because they spend the time and they strategize and they do all these different yeah. things but that's but i mean to me it that's just, just part of the game yeah to me it just seems like league is you have to invest way more time and effort into compared to dota because dota i guess it's just you're this character you play league if you really want to be good you have to learn all this extra i mean like sure it's the same thing you have to learn strengths and weaknesses of your character sure that's that's a given i but think with the runes and stuff it's just it seems like it takes a lot more it just, time it, it adds a level of competitiveness to it it just more so there's more yeah there's more competitive competitiveness to the league aspect of it because there's more to it there's more strategy and everything i guess i mean i wouldn't say I mean, that there's more know. strategy it's just you know there's more to it that you have to learn and, and just work around 
Yeah. And, and understand. Oh, okay. See, I, I feel like the ruins are, like, too much work. There's Same a lot here. of games that have, like, those extra stuff. Like, even freaking Titanfall. Like, you get those cards. Yeah, like, oh, it's like, aesthetic legs. Okay. Huh, and people faster. are always like, why aren't you using your cards? I'm like, it's just, an, I, I don't want to have to think about, shit, I need to use this card. And I need to use this now. I need to use this now. Blah, blah. And this does that before the game starts. I'm like, I just want to fucking play, man. Which is also the reason why, like, I don't mind it, but at the same time, it's annoying. The loadouts. Like, oh, custom the loadouts, loadouts. I understand. So, but I mean, like, Call loadouts, of Duty, like... Yeah, a little uh, different. Some of it, like, it's, like, way too tactical. Like, oh, you can either respawn three seconds faster, or you can be silent like a ninja. <laughs> I don't know which one's better. <laughs> but, um... I kind of was to say... Oh, I was going to say, um... What's it called? Smite? Yeah. That's the, uh... I haven't played too much of it yet. We downloaded it. It was a fun game. It's, like, over the shoulder. I think I only played it as Apollo It's so a third far. person, yeah. yeah. To me, it, I like that one a lot better than League and Dota. I, I like Smite, too. I, like I said, League, I just... I've had so, I've had a lot of fun playing League. Yeah. Like, I just... I mean, that's I like the characters. I like some of the... Like, I like reading some of the backgrounds, because I'm that much of a nerd. So I like... I like the lore that they have for their game... I enjoy it, and and I, you know I enjoy watching the w- when they have them on the uh, the tournaments, the different tournaments and everything. Yeah. I mean, of course, America he Sox doesn't win horrible. because but they think South. I think it was the South Korean team that won the South Korean like always wins. So, but but still, I I just I enjoy watching that. So it's it's fun to you know be involved in league because of that yeah. for me. I mean, the other thing is that people because if I remember right. Dota came out a long time before League. Oh, yes. And people will just say that League is just a really, not poorly made, but it, it's just a copy of Dota, and they're just trying to do it to make money and all this other shit. And it's just, it, I mean, honestly, if you look at it, they're but there's always almost clones exactly of, the same. Of course, but but no, League never denies that. Oh, yeah. The, the, there's no, I mean, but there's plenty of games that do that. I mean, you look at, look at, Metal Gear Solid. That was, you know, a very early stealth game, and now there's a thousand stealth games. I mean, but because but Metal I Gear mean, Solid that was similar, though. Yeah, there's a game. There's plenty of games that are similar yeah, to Metal uh, Gear Solid. I mean, look at. I don't know. Look I've, at Splinter Cell. Yeah, that's very. Similar. Uh, you, I mean, you look at Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is Splinter a game Cell. that's about a you know somebody who's in a U.S. military you know. Um, Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, sure. Mission Impossible. But but you know what I mean. It's that sort of game where it's where it's about you know somebody tr- infiltrating something. And what is it that you're doing in Splinter Cell? I don't know. Killing really bitches. <laughs> you. I mean, no, not you're that stealthing it's around. Not, the, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, not that know. it's exactly a, a perfect copy because it, Splinter Cell is a lot different in a lot of ways. But yeah. it has some of the same aspects. Is the point your main but weapon? Just because it does. Your main uh, weapon is stealth. That's the whole. See, yeah. My my main thing is like talk about a game that doesn't have a story. Two games, Dota and League. There's truly no story. It's just one team against the next, and it's seriously the same thing. It's like the exact same map layout on both games. You're both doing the same, same thing with Smite, though. Trying yep, to do yep. well, yeah. Well, no, Smite is a bit different, though. So just different variations you're like, of the game. Smite is just I don't know. It's weird as hell to me. <laughs> but if you think about it, they're all variations of a tower defense game, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just I don't know. They're... I mean, and there's a thousand tower defense games. I mean, you yeah. can't. I don't. To me, that that's that's a stupid argument because it's like, who cares? It. it it, it, it's people take from others all the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, where it almost looks like an exact copy, though. Eh, it's just to me, it's a little bit. It's the exact same map. You cannot deny that. Yeah, but so is the <laughs> other. I mean, but they never said because League of Legends was off of Dota. They never said that. What was Dota off of? I don't know. Warcraft Three. Like, yeah, so yeah, I mean, funny. that's the whole point is you can't say, oh, this game was this or this game was that. They all take from each other. It's fine. That's how it works. I mean, you look at it. Yeah, Kobe Bryant takes from Michael Jordan. I, who cares? That's the, the that's sports. how it goes. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, it, I just it's, don't talk basketball. <laughs> the one sport I get lost. Who's a Kobe? With. What's a Michael? Michael. The, the whole point of it is is, is that. You're always going to take from those that do things well. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. No. Um, Why wouldn't you take aspects of what they do and try and do it better? 
I mean, to me, there's just a point where you're just taking too much. That's just me. But they're not taking too much. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's you just of... said how they're so different, and now oh, they're too similar. That's so are they about... different or are they similar? Wait, wait, how do I say they're different? <laughs> yeah, the, the whole runes and everything. <laughs> no, no, I said that part is different. That's I never said they're so different. I think that's one of the parts of gaming that I love is because it's like any kind of entertainment where you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Right, exactly. Or be in between. There's games where I'm meh, and there's games where I will never freaking touch it, and yeah. there's games where I, can I can't put down. At so. first, when we were playing League of that, I it was fun. And then it got to the point where I'm just like, this game sucks. I don't like it. I, I got Which is why, for me, it's in a game for games that people say are good but are bad. Well, I think League would be better if there's, like, a way where, like, you know how you some sports... separate. Well, yeah, if some sports games have, like, unranked and ranked, if there's, like, a casual... Well, there is. Yeah, I mean... You, there's but, custom games. And you things. know, that's custom games, but there's still, you know, there's not a really, like casual casual league of legends Screwing every around. game is gonna be like yeah, you know, one person is gonna be flipping out but unless you play with eight you know eight people you know and that i think that's something that they've been working at too for that game i don't know but i would think that they would because they do want more people in obviously because that means they're going to be making more money so you would think that that would be something that they work i mean I, w- I would say one thing that really gets me frustrated about playing games games I've never played before or starting off a game oh is there's got to be a lot a lot of times there's got to be games have to make it easier for people to kind of ease into it they don't want to go into a game and be called a noob and but yeah. and it's not their fault because they are a noob but they're getting put in the situation where there is a noob like we were playing what we were playing Titan what were we playing Destiny today where Nick yeah. was on a level <laughs> with level, like level 30 like people and he's like level 8 I'm like What's gonna, he's going to get his asses, asses kicked. kicked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a Titanfall. They, I mean, yeah, Nick's only lo- just got the game, but we've been playing it oh, longer yeah, at my house. For a bit. So we got we were keeping up with like the level 50 people, but what if we were brand new to the game and they they're like, "Oh, matchmaking level 50. Have fun. Yeah. Good luck." <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's you know, that's that's the whole difficulty still with games is getting the matchmaking better. And I mean, that that's part of the thing too, that that League of Legends try you know tries to address, and so does I mean I'm sure it's the same way with Dota, but it's not always going to be perfect, and that's that's one of the things that that kind of sucks because you don't want to dis people to be discouraging people. Yeah, I mean, I mean to me that brings me to another thing with starting off games. I hate games that make you play through a tutorial. <laughs> I mean, I've already been playing Titanfall, and uh, like, I, I don't uh, want to play Titanfall anymore. I was playing Titanfall, and I go to like play it, and then I'm like, "What the hell is this? Oh, you're doing the tutorial. Why do I have to do the tutorial? I know how to play. Like, just give me an option to play it or not to play it. It's not that hard. Yeah, that that like it is a shame when games. I mean, some make games, yeah, they tutorial. need it. Like, I will say, games like Dota League. Honestly, going into it, you would have no idea. You would have no idea what you're doing. Titanfall, okay, I can figure out this is shoot, this is aim, this is throw a grenade, this is do something special. Who knows? Like, I played through a just, lot of the tutorial for Dota, and uh, I still didn't know what I was doing. Exactly. Though. That's what I mean. Like, games like that make sense. Same with, like, StarCraft. game like that, you need a tutorial. Yeah, you true. need one. There's no arguing with it unless you've played the game before. If you've never played the game before, you have no idea. But, like I said, a first-person shooter... I know what I'm doing. I figured out that this is shoot and this isn't. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, really? This is move? This is how I aim the camera? Oh, I didn't know that there was a setting to invert my aim. Oh, like, oh, uh, it's just a point where it's just annoying and stupid. <laughs> like, the type of one, like, you're welcome to the pod. This is how you run. Oh, oh couldn't have deduced that one. Uh. I, yeah, it, 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 the, uh, the dumbing down of things has... But part of that is because it, gaming has become so mainstream. There's a lot of people who have never mainstream people are dumbasses. <laughs> not uh, not a all bunch of, of them, noobs. Not completely, but they're you know there's. You don't know people. how to run, dude. What are you doing? But I know how to run. There, there. Imagine you're somebody who's never played games though, and this is the first game you're playing. Okay, yeah, you'll know how to move. Click tutorial. Like, give me the option. Oh, like, the, at the right, menu screen. The option. Yeah. Like, okay, new game. Would you like to play the tutorial? No. <laughs> Just, well, that's a little just different. No, <laughs> I don't I want to. But oh, I'm new. Tutorial. 
Yes, please. Yes, that is that. That I'm fine with. That like, that, that I makes think sense. They, well, most if, games uh, usually have that. The no, fact that they uh, don't, if not Titan, anymore. <laughs> I, I'm saddened by the fact that Titanfall doesn't allow you to. Yeah. Oh. Although yeah, that would make me think of of Eve online. Oh God, they just throw you into the fucking shitstorm. <laughs> no, no, you no. They have tutorials. Oh, I know, but, but like it's like uh, all reading, and I'm just like, uh. <laughs> Uh, it's like this tough. tiny chat box. I'm reading the tutorial. I'm just you like, you will die. <laughs> I seriously like. I started playing Eve online with a 14 day free trial. I made like three space jumps unintentionally. Don't know where I ended up and quit. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what I was doing. Absolutely no idea. Oh, I'm just God. like, I'm done. That's I'm, I'm out. Audi. That's uh, not good at all. But that that's like a very complicated game though too. So that's like that's a little bit understandable that you can get discouraged from it because even with the tutorials it can be very like after the tutorials forget about it. I mean you're, you Why you are there six pedals when there's only four directions? <laughs> what is this pedal for? <laughs> you shot church, you team killing fucktard. <laughs> oh man. But speaking of that's of gaming experiences like that where you're completely lost, how about interesting game experiences um i had one earlier i can't remember the heck it is now but definitely a or favorite well we already went over uh, i guess well, we, did. I mean, we like, didn't say experiences, experiences though yeah. like eh. like for like like, like maybe I, I guess i can catch on i don't want to talk too much about we talked about kingdom hearts too much but in i mean yeah i mean those experiences in kingdom hearts like we talked about before when you're playing with you know the characters you grew up watching, those are probably one of my favorite experiences. And just meeting, I don't know, I, I, I'm, that's why I like MMOs. I've met, you know, an online, any game that has any online aspect, I've met people that I still talk to to this day that I call very close friends off of online games, so those are probably, you know, would tie into my best experiences in games. I, uh, like, favorite slash interesting, like, game experience for me i mean a lot of them are online either like playing with friends or like anytime you like find a glitch in a game always interesting but oh god i can't think of any right now i had a few earlier but i completely just am zoning out right now well for, for one of my favorites i'd have to go playing uh kingdom hearts with my father that was one of my favorite it was like especially because like one time it was like late at night woke me up he's like i'm almost done with it come on you gotta help me get through it and it was just you know it was just that that to me was one of my favorites just well, because of that you also have to remember for the longest time we didn't have a memory card with space yeah couldn't turn off the game remember that we had we left the playstation on for like over a week straight i swear because we didn't have enough room to save anything and you couldn't like you couldn't you things couldn't exit out the yeah of the game. So we just left it on until, like, finally, like, I don't know if you like, it got turned off and then, like, he was done or something else. But, like, I just remember we weren't able to turn it off because he was in the middle of the game and we couldn't save it. <laughs> and we couldn't turn off the well, PlayStation. I don't, yeah, but we ended up, he ended up, dating, it did get to a point when we could save it. And I he still so. played. Yeah. And me and him beat it. Nice. And I, I I remember that that was one of those moments for me. And there was you know there's more than just that for experiences that I've always liked. I mean, uh, you know like uh, beating Sephiroth in in um, in Kingdom Hearts because if you do the uh, the the Hercules um, the like uh, the battles that they had, that was like the, you could eventually get where you would face Sethroth and it was like the hardest battle ever and it was just so difficult like those moments for me are always like some of my favorite moments because it's like yes I finally beat this it was like that or 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 being some of the Final Fantasies like Final Fantasy 9 was a difficult final battle and of course there's like the Omega weapons and all that stuff that's hard too like those are the moments that I th those are my favorite when I beat this hard challenge that I couldn't that that that's really difficult. Yeah, but um, what well, I was gonna say for like, for me, more my favorite experiences are like playing with other people. Like, I mean, I remember this pretty. I mean, it wasn't long ago. It was when we were doing the gaming nook. We were playing Castle Crashers, and it was first. It was, I think it was just me and Vince, and then 
Mike Lynn and myself joined yeah, in. Yeah, then Mike Lynn and you guys joined in. And, like, I think you were the last one to join in. No, Mike was. Maybe it was Mike. Anyway, point is, me and Vince were, like, way ahead, like, level-wise and you guys. And then you came back and you just started, like, you kept winning each, like, end challenge where we all fight each other. And it was the very last level. And I win. And, like, you, what you call it every single time you won is, like, you were spreading the herp. And then I kill you. I'm like, the herp stops here. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that was a good one. I that thought. was that was very fun. End, that was a fun game. Very end, just I would play that end. game again. Oh yeah, but oh, I had I had one another interesting experience. I can't remember what the hell it was. I thought of it like middle of the podcast, lost it though. There, there's so many fun ones that I mean, just us playing games together are always fun. I I, I remember. Yeah, I mean like the Vince with the grenade. That was always. That was fun. <laughs> How do you throw a grenade? Is it G? <laughs> no way. It's too simple. <laughs> well, one that I wasn't there for, but that you guys told me about was when you guys were playing Titanfall, and, and oh, you're, fuck. <laughs> you're going for the... Uh, cause at, we have videos of that. Yeah, there's actually yeah. videos <laughs> of it. If you go to, uh, you can look me up on Xbox One. Uh, it's oh, my God. Darth Ravenclaw. It's my gamer tag. If you want to look up those cl- game clips, you can see the ones we're about to talk about. Is All that right. your Twitter, too, or what's your Twitter? Um, I already said it's the gaming nook. You can uh, on oh, Twitter just go to that. Well, yeah. what about your personal yeah, one? Yeah, I don't, I don't even. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> no, give no, that no, one no. out? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll give out my personal one because, I, don't I mean. I know what my Twitter thing nah, is. I don't really, that's, I mean, the gaming, yeah, that's going to be this one for the channel, so I'll just yeah. check that. Lobosco is mine, L-O-B-O-S-C-O. That's my Twitter. You can find me there. I'll be taught, most of my tweets are probably about sports. I don't do, I, I need to start tweeting more about gaming, too. But it, it, it's mostly sports that I tweet about, so especially Chicago sports stuff and, and some other things, too. But Yeah, we're from Illinois, by the way. Yeah, we, we're yeah, from it's Illinois. It's fucking so. cold. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little cold but right now here. I'm anyway. about to go home and maybe die because it's cold and snowy, but it's going to happen soon. Yeah. So uh, anyway, the game clips Chris was talking about was I was over at Vince's house. We were playing Titanfall, and... Oh, God, I think the first one was, like, pretty much Titanfall, you're, like, always playing online. You have an objective. If you fail the objective, you have a chance to escape. And so by escaping, you get to this ship, and it flies away. So pretty much my team lost. I'm trying to make it to the drop ship. And I'm, like, on top of a building. There's a lot of free running in the game. And I'm, like, in between these two buildings, jumping from side to side to side. And I, like, jump out to get on top of the building right as this guy shoots, like, a, like, anti, like, like air missile at the drop ship that was getting us out and I jump right in the way and take the blast from it and I pretty much like I don't know if and it wasn't saved. on purpose either no, he didn't like do this like to, to save the drop ship <laughs> he was trying to get on the drop ship and escape and the thing hit him instead of the drop ship so because he just happened to go right I in the may perfect. have saved the drop ship no idea <laughs> but um then there's this other one like this happened I think oh and to go with that too apart, that can only target, like, Titans or, or the dropship. That yeah. can't that target a know, person. Though. No, it can't. It can only target. Because, okay. I mean, I know there's this one that's just a charge up that you shoot out. But the second one was I was in my Titan. I was fighting something. My Titan got, like, it's, I can't remember what it's called. Like, it's, like, it was damned. It was going to blow up. So you have so much time to eject. And when you eject, you launch into the air. And, like, with whatever my guy had, whenever he ejects, he goes invisible. And so I'm falling back down, and, like, I see this guy. I can't even remember if I saw him or not, but I'm falling down, and as soon as I land, or not, I don't even think I was landing yet, this guy shoots the rocket launcher at one of my, one of our other guys, Titans, hits me in midair, blows that me up. That just happened today. <laughs> blows me up, and, like, I, like, save his Titan, I don't know. But point is, the guy was trying to shoot something else and not me, and I got in the fucking way again. Yeah, Nick just likes to get in the way of <sighs> rockets, apparently. Yep. Oh, yeah, Vince. Yeah, that happened to him today. He was uh, he saw this guy. He was shooting at him from, like, a little bit away, and then he, like, the guy went inside a building or something, and Vince was, like, going up to get in the building. He, like, climbs up the window as this guy shoots an anti-Titan weapon, and it just unloads on Vince. He dies. <laughs> uh, but both of you just like to take rockets to the yeah. face. Hey, I saved that dropship. I saved lives, damn it. <laughs> hey, yeah, that, that those those are always fun moments, too. Just, uh, just... Those are definitely some of my favorites. It's just, you know, moments with people. And um, just seeing a story, finishing a story is is ones I like, too. I, I hate leaving games unfinished, 
Like that's why I, I really need to start playing Twilight Princess again and and um, uh, Wind Waker because I I mean I've played most of the Zeldas t to the end, but those are the two that I still have to. And I have never I haven't played it yet, but Skyward Sword is another one that I'll eventually get around to actually playing. But yeah, that's that's how it goes though. You just you, you, you sometimes you, you lose that that um that sort of that motivation um, motivation Boy. yeah. Yeah, but uh, another interesting experience, which... Oh, God, when the fuck did it happen, Vince, you son of a bitch? What you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh. <laughs> you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking Mario about. Mario Party? Yeah, fuck you, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> so who's telling the story, me or you? Really, huh? there's a lot of animosity here. <laughs> I fucking hate... Okay, anyway. I didn't mean to. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you did. No. <laughs> we, I was at... It was at your house, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were at Vince's house, and we were playing on, um, what, the emulator? On uh, 64, and we had the controllers plugged in because he had this, like, controller thing. And so we were playing. I think I was Mario. Who, do you know who you were, Yoshi or someone? Uh, or? No, I was Waluigi. You were Waluigi. And we are playing against two other computers. I think we did a 20-turn game. And computers are kicking our ass at the beginning. Like, they both have one star. We have nothing. We suck. Finally, I get a star. And then finally I get another star. So I'm in the lead. Two to one to one. Or, well, two to one to one, yeah, to zero. Vince, Vince has, like, nothing. He's got, like, 15 coins. He can't do shit. And then rolls around to the last fucking turn. The last fucking turn, you piece of shit. <laughs> Vince lands on chance time. You don't know what chance time is. Pretty much, Vince has any chance to send something or get something to any other player. So that could be either coins, star, or I think maybe items. I don't know. So what does Vince do? He spins stars. He spins me. He spins to, I think it was Wario, right? Some computer. <laughs> no, no, it was uh, Luigi. Luigi. But it, it was and a he's, computer. And the point is, I gave all my fucking stars on the last, fuck, I think Vince was like one of the last people to yeah. go to. Last yeah. fucking turn to a fucking computer. So now it's, oh, and in the meantime, Vince also bought a star. <laughs> or no, wait, I think he just had more no, coins. No, I just had more coins than So I ended up with 10 coins, no stars. Vince had like 15, 20, I don't know. So he came in fucking third. I came in last from first. In one fucking turn. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> that was a good time. I hate you so much. Wait, which Mario Party game was this? It was this? three, right? Yeah. It was three. That's like my, that was oh my, my favorite God. Mario Party I don't, game. I, don't like three I had never much. been so bad. And then the fucker three has. Three and two. Then he's got the nerve to go on Facebook, find a post about like not playing Mario Party. <laughs> and I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> It was like how Mario Party ruins relationships. How it uh -huh. ruins friendships. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I started choking Vince that night. I don't know. I blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> I blacked out in I, anger. I blacked out in a as fit of As soon as I saw Shido I was losing rage. stars to somebody, I blacked out. <laughs> I'm the next at, thing I'm, I remember, Vince was in a pool of blood. I said, I'm looking at him And I had a death. knife in my hand. <laughs> Par partially was, you know, in the chance, so most of the times you can, you can kind of, you know, if you're good enough, and I, I, I if you usually, just look at it long I enough, usually you know the have, pattern. You know the pattern. But I, I, the the way I saw it was fucking. It's the last turn. I don't even care. Oh, so I, you, wait, you did I it on purpose? Happened. No, no, I didn't oh, do it on purpose. Fucking, like oh. I just, you know, I a a a really fast. Like fuck it, I don't care what it lands on. And Son unfortunately, Nick just got screwed over. Right? And I came in fucking last, from first to fucking last, just like that. And then Wario won anyways. He got like all the fucking stars for like green spaces, yeah. all this other shit. But yeah. Fuck you, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead. No, nah, but uh, that, that was that's interesting. It, it, those stories are great, though. It's fun when you can screw over your friends sometimes, too. I mean, I remember one of my favorites is uh, I was playing, I think it was Halo 2 or Halo 3, and it was a friend of ours named Jose, and he had never played, like, he didn't really play video games, and this was, like, his first time playing Halo, and I told him, and he was on my team, so I told him to stop. I was like, hold up. Hey, Jose, stop for a second. I shot him in the head with a sniper rifle. He was like, oh, what the hell? Wow. It was just, I, I just let, it, everybody just, I laughed my ass off from it. Because, you know, like, he, he didn't know what was going on anyways. And then I just destroy him with the right, the sniper. <laughs> and Vince this is, is playing uh, with the fucking dog with toy. The, the, the dog toys now because, you know, Vince has to play with something. But, uh, another, this is, this is probably the last story I tell about any interesting game experience. But it was... It was when I was at school, uh, Mike Lynn had opened up his Minecraft server, and I got me, uh, my roommate Kyle, and my future roommate Richard, we were all playing it, and so, like, we, we, like, had a village and stuff, we, like, were protecting it and shit, 
and we made he Richard made a rail system from like this village to like a place where like we were mining out or some shit. And so I ended up one day diverting the rail into a ditch that had TNT <laughs> with a detector rail to like blow them up. Like Richard, come to the uh, come to come to the uh, the place where we're mining at. He was like, okay, and he had like all this shit and like, oh god, it was so funny. We were in the study lounge. It was me, Matt. Matt wasn't playing, and Richard. And so he goes, he's like, what the hell is this? And he, like, goes down into it, and he's stuck there. He's like, I made a thing above him so he couldn't get out. And he just hears it, and he blows up. And he, I just remember him sitting there, and he just looks at me. Do you have any idea how much cobblestone I had? <laughs> <laughs> and then he, then, like, he stopped playing the game, and that was the last day we all played on the server. Like, he got so pissed. <laughs> he rage quitted. Oh, yeah, he was done. Like, it was so funny, though. Oh, uh, that is that is great, though. That's funny. It just he had like, no just idea like, where he was going. He didn't yeah. know why he was diverted to some other way. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, that that's doing? really uh, that's really screwing a friend over. But it's um, we're, we're about done here. It's been a good almost two and a half hours that we've been talking yeah. for about video games. I mean, this is the first podcast of the Nook Podcast. What, you know what this means, though, too. If we're gonna do a Nook podcast, we gotta start doing more gaming Nook videos. Yeah, too. no, we definitely. I mean, we still it. have so many in the archive. I mean, yeah, I know there's a we... shit ton in my computer. If you want to get those out, is a lot of them are Star Wars. Only thing I was, oh god, that took so much editing. It was like it's such nitpicky shit because I had to like get a photo, put like a title on it, put all these like little like tabs like to go to the next, and oh, it's annoying as hell. <laughs> Anyway, it, but. it's worth you know what though to to stay up to date to 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 go with this we might as well do it yeah. especially because you know that that was one of the main games we've talked about too so yeah. no we'll get some we'll get some game some gaming footage and sooner or later yeah. here so I was gonna say uh we should do one last segment just because I thought of it when I went to the bathroom before we started you know how uh, Peter Griffin does what grinds your gears I'm calling it what gets your socks wet. Because you know when you get your socks wet in You're the bathroom? You're always mad. You always get pissed off. But it's not just that we're because, like in your shoes and they get wet, Yeah. too. But I, I'm just talking about, like, because I went to the bathroom. Sam had, like, just showered a few hours, like, a bit before. And because and my just socks comes got wet. sopping wet. I got my socks wet, off. and I got really pissed off. So, I mean, you, do we want to call it what sure. gets your socks wet? <laughs> Is this just gaming? Just, no, no. This... What, get, what makes you mad? <laughs> oh, God. I freaking... I guess I, I'm going to go with a winter theme. I mean, we live in Illinois, and, I mean, this this has been, like, probably our easiest winter. This is only, like, our third snowfall. We, yeah, we seriously just got snow, and, and it's not much. Like, literally, I feel like this this year just snowplows forgot how to do their jobs. It's freaking terrible out there the past couple oh, of days. It it's been bad. taking me, it's been taking me, like, at least another, like, half a trip to get somewhere time wise so that's what's gonna really get my socks wet and it has been getting my socks wet this fucking snow the past couple of days so yeah Chris I've, I don't know I, I mean I don't want to keep going with that theme because I, I mean it, it is brutal out there right now so and I can't stand the cold I money spent in Vegas that's what gets my <laughs> socks wet I spent too much money I went to Vegas in December and I'm still mad about how much money I spent there well you know what gets my socks wet when my fucking friend betrays me at fucking Mario Party <laughs> fuck you Vince you get my socks wet dickhead oh man <laughs> but but no it, it, it's been a lot of fun here on the Nook the, the first Nook podcast uh, again the Twitter handle is uh, the Gaming Nook the Gaming Nook at the Gaming Nook at the Gaming Nook if you put the Gaming Nook into to YouTube I'm pretty sure that the, the channel will come up yep. as well mm -hmm. so for that uh, we, we haven't quite decided where we're gonna put this podcast so wherever you're listening to it it'll that's probably where be it'll on be on YouTube and uh, it'll every other, probably oh, it'll, several places it, it, it'll probably be the on uh I don't know if we'll go SoundCloud or or where we'll go. Well, by now we already know, but <laughs> watch the Nook. It's uh youtube.com slash watch the Nook. Dude, yeah, I love our fucking thing up it's there. Right. It's and so then sweet. <laughs> it'll actually be Twitter. It'll actually be Twitter. Watch the Nook is too. too yeah. On Twitter there for you. So so th that's where we'll. Uh, that's where where we we'll get most of your information at. Again, you can always look at my Twitter, Lavasco, because I'll put everything up on there as well. 
But, I, I mean, it's been a fun first podcast. There will be more to come. Look for us on, on Sundays for it. Look on the Gaming Nook uh, for the uh, other all the other videos. shenanigans. Yeah, all the yeah, other shenanigans. Insert my shameless uh, here. Uh, go to my YouTube channel <laughs> and check out my vlogs. I'm going to be starting the vlog here on vacation soon. So if you want to check out some stuff going on at Disney World, that's... Uh, Darth Ravenclaw on YouTube. You can just search that in the, the search bar and it'll yeah. pull up here. I and think... check out the ones that Nick Nixon Nixon yeah. a bunch yeah, of my I'm vlogs. Quite a few so. of them. But uh, look forward. I mean, we're, there'll be plenty of more gaming that we'll talk about on these podcasts, along with other things as well. Yeah, we're gonna talk about just everything. If you have a topic, and send it in. Related. Comment. Have a, a game you want us to play. Yeah. Send that in t- as well uh, to. Where should they send that though? Vince? Yeah, go go ahead and do it on the Twitter too. Watch it's watch the nook is what I just learned. So yeah, it's, but uh, <laughs> up till now I've been giving you the wrong Twitter handle. <laughs> way, way to go, Vince. It's good. It'll be in the start. description. Who knows? But yeah. uh, only thing I was gonna say was if you can at the beginning of the podcast we played a music clip for you. If you can tell us what game it was from. What the, well, the first part of it was. Yeah, yeah, the first part, not the actual musicy part, but the first part of the game. If you could tell us what game it's from. I don't know, like kudos to you or some shit. <laughs> hey, yeah, you, you maybe should probably. We'll give you a figure, shout out. <laughs> you should probably figure it out, but yeah, uh, it, it, it's been fun. Uh, it, it's been a, a good first podcast, I, I, I think, for us. I mean, you know, yeah, this I mean, is hell, two and a half hours as long as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I mean, for, for, for us, this, this is the first time any for you guys at least doing something like this i yeah. think right yep. at least to this extent um yeah i've actually never done podcasts i mean yeah. like i said i've done we did you now and, and yeah, shit like that, stuff that, like that but. <laughs> yeah and um i mean it, it it has been i i i've enjoyed it and uh i you know i'm sure this is not going to be the the last one as Whoa. uh <laughs> <laughs> of course there's uh commercials for 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 my little uh outro that I was going to play because you know what we talked a lot about this game anyway we so that we did yeah so we might as well get a little Lin- Lindsay Sterling playing some Legend of Zelda right yeah, that's yeah. Lindsay Sterling Woo! and I'm not going to use too much of it because I don't want to have anything ow ow all <laughs> right but again thanks it's been fun this has been the Nook podcast listen <laughs> Thank you.